Welcome, my lovely dears, to another soothing session of The Dark Manor. Wherein the DM, as usual, just to change things up, has a terrible headache. I'm not even going to bother pretending it'll be a shorter session because of it, though. It'll just end up running late if I do that. You That's just curse yourself works. instead. I mean, yeah, it could still happen, but, you know. I prepared myself mentally. When last we left off, our depraved delvers went back to the woods. For once, they weren't out in the mines. I know. Tremendous. It's not their first rodeo in the woods, for sure. Um, they'd just previously to that gotten back Heath, the winter dryad wife of Corstrix the ceramic ray. A uh, dragon person. A, a lovely bean, a sweetheart, but a blindo, for sure. Didn't realise that she actually had fake eyes put in, which is a bit of a fucking surprise. Um, when informed of that, she told you the tale of losing them peepers to a dragon that was quite mean. So the party decided that they would go kick this fucking dragon's bins over and get her eyes back. When they met the dragon... Turns out this dragon and nightshade used to date, but, you know, no big deal. Night got fucking owned, and, um... Chaos just sort of, like, left with her urn full of spook. Yeah, it's a very pretty urn. You know, clearly it depicts the uh, dragon living in Lizette's brainium in some degree or another. Then they kicked that dragon's ass. It wasn't even close. It was a fucking walloping. No amount of damage I could do could be, like, made to stick. It was undone the very next turn. Every single time. It was a nightmare. God help me, I fucking tried. <laughs> but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't make it stick. Uh, you guys fucking owned me. The power uh, of two healers and multiple tanks. Yeah, I just could, I fucking could not do it. Even with, like, the characters, like, just distracted at one point, I managed to have both, you know, healery, tanky people just, like, off to the side in a fucking stramash, and they still had plenty of time to keep everyone else from dying while they were bullying a creature to death. And that was before they fought the dragon, whose ass they fucking rocked. Poor Chaos didn't stand a chance. However, instead of slaying the foul and evil black dragon, uh, they decided, or more correctly, Thyran decided that I can fix this. I can fix her. I can her. train this. I can fix you. Yep. Uh, and honestly, considering your frankly terrifyingly high diplomacy check, yeah, fucking chaos is really smug and thinks you have no chance. Little does she goddamn know. She's going to turn that bad girl into a good girl. I don't know that you'll ever get good out of her. Agreeable, maybe. You'll get an agreeable girl out of her. Chaotic neutral. Now, but you see, Scout, good girl is, is, is the thing to calm her down. Well, that has the opposite effect on me, usually. <laughs> Just saying. But who knows? Maybe it turns out that chaos is a soft core. It's very doubtful what with the being a terrifying monster, but, you know, maybe she's a softcore. Mm, I, I doubt it. It's fucking hilarious, though. Uh, just having a great time in Lizette's Brainium. Just looking at this bitch get completely whipped. It is hilarious. Poor Sylvie bust, uh, just, just, like, bursting a blood vessel, but, you know, Baron is just so fucking powerful diplomatically that there's just there's really stopping it at all Isra didn't even bother to complain it's just like of course that is how they do and stood there and watched also she was along for the ride another very tanky character which was a bad call on my part but also it seemed fun and fitting to throw in yet another family member if it was already going to be a double pup fast Uh, Mum clearly needed some fucking exercise because she's been pagante the entire time. Uh, 
Also, the stats for that baby were rolled. Um, she's a fucking genetic super freak. It's yet again another blonde-haired, blue-eyed Ubermensch. I mean, this one is purple-eyed, thanks to the king. Thanks to the king! It's also thanks to the king, she has dexterity! Finally! Just... Woo! Dexterity! The first one here who doesn't need a fucking safety helmet. Finally, the Ubermenches are actually perfect. If you gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. So, are they just gonna instinctively get her? Or yeah, I mean, they have no just idea. Just because that's like the. It'll just be really weird or... when it doesn't come back all dented to hell. Yeah. yeah. Gonna go out fishing and not fall out of the boat. <laughs> like, that only yeah. happened the once. It was definitely not the once. Let's see. It was it. more than the once. Mm -hmm. Like, Karen one fucking loved her a good goddamn fashion, but she was also a, what was it, yeah. like, seven dexterity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, it happened once on camera. And so big as well. The moment she stands up in a boat to throw a... Sp yeah, yeah. The moment she stands up in a boat to throw a spear, then just the whole boat decides that it's kind of done trying to pretend that buoyancy is supposed to work that way. And bam, capsize. Regardless, you're doing pretty good. Of course, you've now got to go back and take care of that kit. Definitely not because I've had enough of how much healer that is in one buy. Go away, sure. <laughs> Too yeah, much. I'd, I'd forgotten quite yeah. how powerful of a healer Kirwin was, despite not being a healer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kerry was a ridiculous healer. Like, to the point where I had intended at one point to give you guys an NPC healer to replace the fact that Snippy was an absentia, and then decided I fucking didn't need to. <laughs> it was never needed, ever. I was like, there's no way I'm giving you guys a healer, you fucking don't need one. <laughs> yeah, it's also quite amazing how, like, big your healing is, compared to, like, a leader that is actually supposed yeah. to be healing a little bit. <laughs> What's the point? It's less that it was healing and that it was stacks of temp HP, which, if anything, kept you a lot safer because I couldn't get you into a bloody threshold in the first place. And, you know, fucking 4e has a lot of creatures who are like, if your opponent is bloody, to do this. Did you know, through that entire last fucking fight, every creature had a bloody opponent effect? <laughs> Never came up? Yeah, almost, almost once. came up. You almost, almost got hurt. It almost, you almost got hurt. Bloody. You saw me. You saw me roll max damage on one of those too, but it fucking never happened. Otherwise, it didn't actually get to hit. I hadn't actually managed to bloody. It's ridiculous. Guys, it destroyed me. But hey, we live, we learn, or at least I learn. And what I learned is I can't let both pups go together. <laughs> no. it's, it's too. It's too much pup. Two pup, two furries. But family. Family. All right. Instead, we still not even really done with a recap. We pick up with the party as they return to Core Strix's ceramicry. They return with Chaos deciding it would be smarter to just go fucking wait in town because. Um, that would, that would just be awkward, frankly. <laughs> just doesn't want to go because it would be fucking awkward and weird. Yes. Yes, it would. Like, it's just fucking weird. I'm going to go that way, which is presumably the way out. Chaos will turn up at some point. By the time you return back to town, she won't be there and you'll be like, Fucking, I guess she actually ditched us with the rubes. I don't know, it just turns out that she's still fucking lost in the woods. She will arrive in morning. Fucking, I told you so. And then <laughs> and you say, I told you so. And then she comes out in morning like, how did you get here ahead of me? <laughs> God damn it. Sarah's just going to collect a bag of coins off you for that one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just like, cut, like at night time, you're like, ah, oh, fine, hand her some gold. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> Instead, without chaos in tow, your party heads on down to Corstrex 
and gives the lovely dragon a great big pair of eyes. Keith will peer them over and frown. I always did say she had the prettiest of eyes. Like perfect little spheres of silver. Well, you might have been actually quite literally right about that bit. Oh, I have no doubt. They were our blessing, you know. A little, you know, wedding gift. Erin will quirk her head to the side. R really? And of course, four powerful dryads can do an awful lot if they, you know, mess around with a bunch of fey magic and grace their lover with a gift. And she said the first thing she saw when she looked at us was beauty. We decided it'd be very fitting to, you know, give her some magic eyes. A shame it made a target of her, but at the same time, I still don't regret the compliment. Understandable. Close tricks. You <laughs> Close never her tell her? I, yes, that's quite enough. That never made her eyes magic. Well, I mean, they're already magic, let's face it. And it didn't change anything. True sight didn't matter. It would spoil the gift, and also the fun of her finding out one day. Unfortunate that she found out this way, but, you know. Theron's just gonna nod. <laughs> like, Understandable. Okay. So... How it's do just, we go about, uh, about right. getting these back in, then? Hmm, probably with a bunch of discomfort. Um, Corsi, sweetie. The dragon size. Oh, this is um, going to be terrible. Well, the good news is you don't Very have to well. be conscious for it, I don't think. Coltrex tilts ahead. Mm, why would that be? Well, I just need to put these back in and take the ones you got in out. Yes, but I don't think anything's going to put me to sleep. We'd need a lot of anesthesia to put out a dragon of her size. I um, actually have a spell that might work, but I would have to wait a day to to find him at my notes. Uh, unfortunately, you will wake her up by beginning the surgery and injuring her. <laughs> you rip the fake eyes back out. Yeah, we... I'd hate to do this without anesthesia. It's fine. It'll be fine. I don't have to be anesthetized as... I mean, you don't have to be, but this seems like it would be kind of terrible to go through. Cool strike shrugs. I... <laughs> I don't see another particularly sensible option, and I look forward to oh, seeing I mean, again. We could go... Alright, understandable. She's given her assent. It'll probably hurt a lot less than the first time they were taken I mean, out. We could go find, I don't know, some monster with bits and bobs that could be turned into an anesthetic. At least a local. Or we can do it right here and now and let her see our wives again. Of course, Jerks nods. I don't really want to wait. I'm perfectly fine with a bit of pain. I'm a very big girl. <laughs> like. And she will do the old body flomp down and fold both arms underneath the The inner chair. doctor and Thyren is just screaming. <laughs> Dude, this should definitely be done with anesthetic. And she's like, come on, eyes, comprende. <laughs> Vision, please. Okay. Uh, actually, one second. Let me go find like a big old tree trunk for you to use as a song to bite down on during the tree pain. tree trunk to be a stool. That would be a good idea. Or... I mean, I'm tall, but not that tall. Keith will just brush her hand, and a tree stump will... Well, not even a stump, just a tree will just sort of thump out of the ground. Uh, and then its branch crooks into the shape of a, you know, like a U, like a swinging seat. There you go, that'll be around for an okay. hour or two. Uh, More no, height, that, less that should be fine. Very well. And then she's going to hold Corsrex's hand. Or more correctly, one of her big fingers. Alright. Uh, yeah. Like, Thyran has an ungodly amount of heal and pretty pretty good nature. Could she... Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no chance of... Well, yeah, I was, I was just thinking more like, could I brew 
not a not enough to knock her out, but like a localized painkiller. At least to. Mm, if you're looking for a localized. If you're looking for a painkiller, you guys have come across like an ungodly quantity of alcohol in your time, some of which tremendously strong. You could just get her fucking laddered. Sure, okay, if that's that's how you want to do it. You can do it old school. Rip out my goddamn eyes while I'm uh, shit can drunk. This... Okay, could <laughs> could I do it the actual doctor way though, and not the fucking retard way? Yeah, yeah, you can do the equivalent of just get her completely fucked up without, you know, just like actually just feeding her yeah, three bowels of rock. Like... <laughs> Yeah. Brew something up, stick it in a needle, poke it between some scales around the eyes to so just deaden that area. Sure. Uh, you'll have to warn me before you poke me. I can't see the needle coming. Okay, big pinch. Poke. Is it big pinch? I always hear sharp scratch when I get an injection. It's, it's sharp scratch. Uh, it's not what they yeah. say over here. No, really? I've always had it been like there's going to be a pinch or whatever. Really? Yeah, that is what weird. What a weird difference. Yeah, in the UK for huh. every doctor ever, it's sharp scratch. Huh. I don't know why they say that. It's not, that doesn't it's feel like a say, scratch. It it's like, a, like, what do you mean it doesn't feel like a scratch? It totally It does. feels like you're piercing into it. That's what it feels like. You're stabbing, you, not a scratching. Never, never somebody's been pinching you. Have you been scratched? You don't pull their skin up I when feel you... Like... I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I, I, I feel like I it's based well, but, on what like, you've always week, heard. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess it's. I associate it with the sensation of a scratch because that's always been language association, too. I guess huh. I've been told pinch all my life. I'd think of it like Wild. a pinch. I think Saban should have gotten a prior authorization for this procedure. Look, I'm definitely losing hey, wait, my medical it, license for going out in a cabin in the woods and yanking somebody's eyeballs out and putting new ones in. But Saban, <laughs> think about the money you can charge her. I mean, just putting a needle in is like over a thousand gold, really. Look, well, no, it really is. It's like the is like the sort of person who op- has like, if she's going to lose her medical license, it's from like opening up a clinic in a garage for immigrants or something. Like, let's be honest. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's because you put a sign up that said free healthcare <laughs> during like a week of pandemic, and they were like, that's not on. Bye bye, license. People were like, but this was actually all, you know, licensed work. I just didn't charge for anything. Like, nope, sorry. License revoked. You oh. don't have a license for that anymore. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's, let's just do a, let's do a heel check for the, uh, for that. Not as high as I'd expect. Let's see how Corstrex takes to the anesthetic. Uh, I'm going to pull up her old statty block. Yeah, I, mean, I, probably did, I did roll a mighty there, seven. Considering you're about to do medicine on her. Yeah, but it's still a fucking 30 on a creature whose CR is lower than you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, she was a level 5 solo. So let's see here. It beats all of her defenses uh, with ease. Okay. Yep. That should make sure you don't feel anything. Uh, at least not tremendously so. Okay. Uh, okay. Hurry up. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Corstrix's tail do a swishy. It bonks into the side of her house and then she'll pin it back down again. Yeah. And sit on uh, it. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Tara Liz, would you mind um holding her eyelids open for me? Yeah, sure. It's actually probably Sylvie you want. She's like one of the strongest in the whole entire party. Yeah, so, so, Sylvie's ripped. She'll, she'd be good at that. Stronger oh. than Lizette. Oh god, I just had a horrible thought. <laughs> yeah go on man. <laughs> Lizette's uh gauntlets go of giant throwing um the eyeballs though oh. they're too uh, heavy they're too heavy I think uh, too heavy like hold on does that have an actual have like a, set like weight, a limit. weight limit here let me just... it it does yeah, what, have a set weight, weight limit, limit actually no 30 I mean, pounds big... that uh, might be 30 pounds. 30 pounds. for just eyeballs fuck yeah 
Okay, yeet yeah, 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 fine. Uh... What a horrifying... No, you we're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Just no, <laughs> you should not do we're that. We're not supposed to do that. Yeah, we, we are not like doing that. We're absolutely not doing you're, that. You're not supposed to be pulling those eyes out like that's it's the, fucking Mortal Kombat. It, that's, the, that's the same energy as like having me just scoop them out. Yeah, just get, no, we go, we go to yeah, Iona and we get Donnie two scoops with the ice cream scoops. <laughs> no, He's no, got no, the no, exact no, correct no, number of scoops for those. Okay. That's okay. True. So, um, um, terrifying. Sure. Uh, yep, Could I get um, assist rolls from these guys for uh, holding the peepholes? Uh, I guess. Look, I as long as you're not rolling out one, you can't possibly hurt. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Give. Assist. See, you succeeded in assisting me. Okay. It uh, doesn't. Doesn't hurt and doesn't hurt. Okay, cool. Yeah. You were so lucky when uh, I rolled that. You talk about the yeah, I, it's, it's a five percent chance it could happen to me with my fucking plus twenty four. <laughs> uh, pets, could I get one out That's of Taru? Right. Uh, yes, sure. You kind of feel check people on her fucking eye. <laughs> she's a big girl. She's not that big. Yeah, I think I think okay. two is like the max you can have. Yeah, like, one, okay. one okay. per okay. eyelid. I'm giving fine. you. No, 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 no. Fine, help. fine, fine. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, here we go. There's a nat one. Yeah. Do you have an action point? Yeah, you, you did have a second encounter. Oh God. You might want to use okay, it. Okay, just don't do it again. Mm. Okay, thirty-four. <laughs> Okay, with a 34, you are able to remove an eye and slide one in. Uh, but eyelids are looking kind of lazy at the moment because of all the anesthetic in them, so she can't hold them open. When you let go of her eyes, they just sort of flump closed and she's not holding it open. Oh, I'm um, still That's blind. just your eyelid. It's fine. I, I think that should be... Oh, I thought that's open right now. It's super not. Ah, uh, okay. Horribly painful, though. Hey, think of it this way. It could have been a lot worse. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, two heel checks and then a heel check. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Good job, Nurse Papa. Okay. Good job, Nurse Change. I was so ready for that one again. <laughs> 41 this time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, for this one, her eye appears to be more alert. You swear you can see the moment something connects back there. Oh, um. also Al, but I, I can certainly see something. Hello. Blurry. Um, hold on. Then I'll just like make sure the eyeball is all cleared off from all the travel gunk. Yo, oh, it just should take a little bit to adjust, but. I think it's fine. Yeah, everything's everything's fine. Yeah, her eyelids do that thing where they're trying to blink, but you know they they can't. You see her eyelids twitch, and she's like, "Okay, I think I have to wait for the anesthetic to wear off there." Yeah, that'll be a little bit of time, probably. Yeah. Here. Mm, very well. If you just so... rotate your head this way, Heath, could you come stand here? It should wear off in just a few minutes. I think the first Rock thing she should around. see clearly is you. Oh, that's very touching. And it, it should be, most certainly. Portrait snorts and waits. It's an impatient wait, and you can see her eyelids keep trying to flicker open before they're ready, until they, eventually, ever so slowly, creep their way open. Oh. Oh. Oh, what a relief. I missed this. Hello, you. And Heath will smile and give her snoot a big old hug. Mm, hello, dearest. At which point she's then licked and then pulled underneath Corstrex's arm so that she is trapped. Fluff. Oh. Mm, much better. Now, let's get a look at the people who help. After I'm Hi. done looking at how... Just so cute you are. Looks Heath over while she's trapped and she's just pushing on Corstrex's snoot. Oh, you're such a bimbo. Stop it. 
<laughs> Corstrex snorts and then looks over the lot of you. Oh, look at you, you're all precious. Hello there. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. You know, you look just like you sound. Oh, thanks. Aww. I thank you for that compliment, I suppose. Cool strikes and nods, and then continues flumping on poor Heath, who can't move. Well, I'm trapped. <laughs> I'd get used to it. Cool Strix sniffs. <clears throat> so, um, I guess the most dragony looking one wants to have the dragon body? That would be correct. Might I ask what kind you'd like? Did she, like does she mean like color wise or? I, I can't. Well, I'm I'm okay at painting, but it, that's not my specialty. No, I mean body type. Um, like I said before, one such as yours itself. Hmm. Heath will scoff, as if anyone, even Corstrix herself, could capture her beauty. Corstrix will huff. I will make a very good try. Okay, I can do that. Oh, um, the person in your head, I don't think you said, are they a she or a... They're a she. Okay. All right. Um, I take it she wants anatomically... At which point, Nightshade in your head goes, fuck, I want her to experience my anatomy, that's for sure. Yes. Yes, she does. Corstrix nods. Okay, I can do that. Let me just double check on something. You didn't have any, like, any extra parts. It's just full female, right? Uh, extra? Oh, yes, no, just full female. I didn't have any wibbly wobbly bits. Alright, good. If you're wondering how it's done, me and Chaos just sort of smash cloaca together. Or, you know, we have tails. I figured that was how it worked. Yes. That is generally how lesbians work. Mm -hmm. Cold Strikes tilts her head. You seem lost in thought. <laughs> just conversing, making sure of things. Oh, okay then. Tail as old as time. <laughs> the biggest slobber knacker mouth tracks. Cool strikes. Peers at Thyran and then slowly nods. Oh, okay, sure. Heath scoffs. Do we have enough clay, dear, or will I need to go fetch you some? Cool strikes will sigh and ponder. I definitely need to source more materials. It might take a couple of weeks to get this done. I hope you're not now. Hurry for a body. Nightshade makes impatient noises in your noggin, but goes, not like I'm going anywhere right now, is it? We understand. It's a good thing we had already sourced quite a bit of the clay that you might need. Mm, excellent. There are a few fey bits and pieces I'll need for it to be particularly lifelike, but Heath can help with that. Cool Strix will sit and ponder for a time. Uh, Heath will pull out some clay indeed, and she'll do like a little preliminary sculpt, and you can see that the very tippy tips of her claws are like perfectly razor sharp, and she just begins to essentially like pick and scratch shape into this clay, taking out larger pieces or otherwise working finite detail in with pauses to wipe her claws clean in the snow over and over again. Every time her nails start to sort of like blunt down like the edge of a pencil, she just runs them across the scales of her neck and they're sharp again and she'll keep going. Uh, the horny dragon noises in your head, Lizette, don't stop any less when they see that she sharpens her claws on her own neck, because it's especially metal and she proves. Uh, until eventually she has made a preliminary sculpt, just a little little one. 
say like a foot or so higher. That looks a lot like Corstrex, so she's gone with a slightly lengthier neck and a little bit more um, back of the hip bulk. The dragon equivalent of a fucking huge donk. There are approving noises from Nightshade at that. Well, nice. bigger ass than I remember, and well, I was always a lot more sinuous, but I certainly don't mind the change. All right, she is approving of it. Ah, excellent. I will get to work on that straight away. Uh, come back in, say, two weeks, and we'll have it done. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Can I offer you anything before you go? Tea? Mm. Anything I can do to help? I believe you're already doing quite I will accept there. one hug as payment. Ah, of course. She lifts her upper body up and Heath will... <sighs> Climb out from underneath. The Tharian you are hey. scooped and squanched on. Blumpf. Disappear under dragon. Given squeeze. Released from dragon. Let's see. Do either... And this will be Sylvie talking. Do either of you have a way to contact us in town if... Uh, well, the Winter Queen decides to try and impact you again? Mm, not myself. Keith will shrug. I can certainly get out a messenger if it happens. I guess I'll keep one on standby in case of emergencies. Good. Uh, I'd rather her not do that again, but if she does, I want to be ready to come up here and save you again. Of course. Well, hopefully we won't need saving again. We'll be ready for her, won't we, Corsi? At which point Corsi goes... I wish she'd kick her butts. I'm gonna run if that happens and carry you with me. Keith huffs. We're lucky we didn't marry you for your courageousness and bravery. At which point, course, Rex will snort. You mean stupidity. Well, discretion is a better form of valor at times. That's what I'm always saying. Keith will huff. She's afraid of thunderstorms. Costrex gasps. You said you wouldn't tell. Keith will huff. I never promised. I just said. Hmm. <laughs> wow, such rank betrayal. I know, right? How horrible of them. But I'm not afraid of Thunderstorm, she's lying. Heath scoffs. I never lie. I tease, but I don't lie. Huff. Well, if anything does happen, just come to Torchlight and we'll protect you. He's the nods. Yeah. Well, we can't be gone long from the woods or, you know, gestures at herself in the trees. I could oh, wilt yeah. quite quickly, but I certainly can for a short period of time. About a day or two. That'll be enough to make sure you're okay. Very well. <laughs> it is a very classic hero pose. Although in Corstrex's case, I believe she's looking down at a tiny knight that she's going to squash <laughs> with her titties. Squash. I can't remember. I've seen... I know I've... Well, obviously, I was the one who boarded this one, so I definitely saw her original art. I think that the dragon actually has huge tits in that art. Mm-hmm. She does. God, that wouldn't surprise it's me, no. Horse. It's a good art. Well, I'm glad I was able to help. Be safe, you two. And yourselves. Don't perish doing dangerous things. We will attempt not oh, to. Nothing can defeat us. We're heroes of justice and goodness and righteousness. You know, if you defeat this Winter Queen, my fellow sister wives and Corsia would be happy to give you a blessing of our own. We'll even tell you what it does so you aren't surprised by dragons coming to pluck them out. Well, I wouldn't say no. That would be appreciated. She smiles. I wish you luck, then. Do come back soon and kick her rear in. An endless winter may make me particularly strong, but I do miss 
the other seasons mm. quite a bit. We plan to. We have a couple more levels in the mine that we wish to accomplish, and if we still more down there, then we'll just retire that for a bit and go straight into kicking. I think we'll hope. be done in the mines around the time you're done with mm -hmm. the sculpting. Hmm. Yeah, unless so. we get stuck down there. No, Show well, not unless the door gets smaller after Tisrena hmm. goes through. I mean, I don't say that. It's just like the one thing that's probably likely to happen. Oh, I know you said it. Help me, step. Me I'm stuck. <laughs> no. Help me, step, mouth. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go check in on mom and the baby. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good job, everybody. Mm-hmm. I shall go check on the progress of my mansion, I suppose. Very good. Take care. Yeah. You are able to return to town. The mansion continues mansioning along. Uh, Kiri has already, you know, arrived back in town and is now being well, consumed from, as mothers are wont to do. But also by Cass, because, you know, yep. it's a Cass. Lucky she got two tennies. You know, holy water is. is good for the oh, soul. Holy milk is now. Holy milk. So creamy, so holy. <laughs> Fuck a demon up with milk. Really, really conflicted noises coming from Gwen these days. <laughs> for sure and yeah chaos is not initially there that evening even though she flew off ahead of you guys there is certainly going to be some smug until morning comes and she arrives fuck me that was a long trip wait how did um, you all get here ahead of we me we just walked along the shortest path <laughs> chaos hears us in consternation Yes, flying isn't on in those words. Yeah. Very well, you said you had some kind of treasure basement. Oh yeah, it's under our house. Come on, I'll show you. Chaos stops Everybody along. in town gets to see fucking Thyron leading this dragon along by the leash and stuffing her into a basement. Oh yeah. Let's see. It draws a lot of looks. Usually the shit that you get up to doesn't draw a lot of looks, but Chaos is not a small lady. I would argue you you actually draw more looks, because from us it's expected. From you, no. Huh? What do you mean? So how much have we spent this parlor by? Is it five ways? I can't remember. There's five of us, so I think it's five ways. Yeah, sounds about right. All right. Everybody's getting 111,000 GP. <laughs> uh, yeah, 111,000 gold. And I'm not taking a share for Lizette because oh. that whole adventure is just getting her up and getting her the body. Yeah, so. you got her a whole ass fucking dragon. So I mean, yeah. yeah. Probably more than pay yeah. for it. Yeah. Wait a minute. There were six of us. Cause, well, hold on. Well, okay. Easter. One chair per player. Uh, no, I was going to give it a... Go for, yeah, one, that's go for one per player. The hornier clan will just split their share. It's fine. Easter ain't fussy. So what would... Honestly, what would more than 500 gold get me? She shrugs. Exactly. I already have what I need. And it is a warm, large house with a large, warm bed and a large, warm woman to keep my bed warm. You might have noticed I put a lot of emphasis on the warmth, because that is frankly all I would need. Oh. Well, we're always happy to provide, Aunt Isra. 
You're very welcome, Mr. Mills. Gee, well, pat your hand. Big hand. God, this is more money than I've ever had in a game before. Holy shit. Yeah, it's so much money. Four Paragon numbers. <laughs> Big numbers. Enough to buy almost three whole castles. It's one tenth of the way to getting a flying <laughs> castle. <laughs> I mean, it's like more than plenty to do the ritual. Well, but you get to find somebody to do the ritual. God, fucking Thyran and Kieran are going to just Mansa Musa caravan their way back to the north after this is done. My God. Just destroy the entire economy of the jungles. You're going to collapse economies. Oh, yeah, behold uh, what the blessing will be if you uh, deal with the Winter Queen. Oh, let's see here. What is this? Silvery, silver hands of power. shrieks in pain, shapes of power, fibers of money. Transforming his hands into living quicksilver. Mm. Wow. I mean, more the power part. It probably mm. manifests more in just like some oh, that's cool okay. silver nails. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hit yeah, with the, the daily power. power. Is the important part. You get to use an at will power. That's neat. Yeah. Wow. Uh, for instance, like fucking, if Maya have put down her wall that is a minor yeah. action daily on everybody, every single person would go, it's power! <laughs> Just Hell obliterate yeah. a bunch of people. It's a very cool power. Oh. Hmm. I missed it. Where is that? That's problem? very strong on the rogue now that I look at that. Think about yep. that. <laughs> yep. Free, uh, mm -hmm. free attack for sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you could even do it as a mid turn repost just to get another one of those going. No, I could not because remember, it's an immediate. No, it's like the one thing that you can do once per turn, sort of thing. Oh, right. Yeah. The action economy wouldn't, wouldn't change. Yeah. The, the action economy would not work out. You used that. a different at will. Then yeah, I could use Clever Strike. It. Yeah. It's pretty good. I say def definitely a complete a zone kind of reward. Definitely, yeah. You don't want to give that power to me. You see how much damage I already do per turn. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will get it. I know, I'm just saying, you don't want to give that to me before we complete a zone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's <laughs> a reason that says, it says level 14 plus. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that seems fair. That's why you, before you got the uh, madness blessing for completing the docks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Grimgar gave you a magic tattoo that's based on a blessing. Is she who we got that uh, AC tattoo thing from? Yeah, yeah, that's a tattoo that she put on yeah. her uh, wife. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. And she's the one that applies them all to you if you want it. Bob's, you also had trained to do it in case you'd ended yeah. up killing the queen. But Queen Grimgar can also do it. She's very good at it. Although right now, poor Queen Grimgar is dealing with, like, fucking 11 babies. <laughs> <laughs> she's dealing with yeah. a lot of babies. Some of those wives had twins, Basil. <laughs> twins! Or is he to will and reflex? Huh. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to actually get that on Sylvie now that I look at the, the same armor, but you also get will and reflex too. I missed, what are we getting the When we complete from? the Dryad's uh, quest in the forest. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, 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 we, we don't, we don't get it now. When you defeat the Winter Queen, the Dryads will reward you with a blessing. Nice. Much like they gave Corstrex Quicksilver Eyes of True Seeing, they want to give you essentially fingernails, but, you know, hands made to defeat foes in big adventurous situations. It seems very oh, fitting nice. for them, considering you guys, you know, fought to reunite them. All oh, right, the weird defense actually wouldn't be better because it doesn't have the enhancement. Right, 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 right. I just forgot about that. 
Wid is super good early on. By this point, you guys have gear that outranks it, but like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell, it's not so much money to you guys. You could get the tattoos anyway, just in case you, uh, for whatever reason, rendered armorless. You're just still terrifyingly powerful, even naked and flapping in the breeze. That did happen to Thyron yeah, once, yeah. after all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you have had to fight titties out. <laughs> oh, goodness. And yeah, the wives are lovely, aren't they? Aren't they just great? Yeah. I like the whole thing they've got going on, so I'm glad that they are starting to be reunited. Like, they're kind of dangerous and capricious still. There's obviously a lot of, like, the poetic Blue Roses kind of romantic love, but they are still, like, fey as fuck, and they're like, Yeah, I changed her eyes! Ha <laughs> ha! Real unfortunate that it turned out this way, but, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> take it back for a second. She seems to be doing fine. Get worked, worked out, out to be a net neutral. Yeah, it worked out okay for them. Until they got stolen. But... Until they got stolen, yeah. Yeah, but then they got unstolen and she made some new friends. Yeah. Which of us is carrying the standard of the silver dragon, by the way? Uh, uh, All right. I don't think any of us are. Wait, is that the It's original? level 13, so it's something we got or relatively it, recently. Actually, which one is this? Okay, never mind. I'm holding standard Chen that we never use. Wait, so you're holding it? Uh, not the yeah, silver dragon fucking one. Sylvie ought to take oh, okay. that, my god. But the... Uh, put it on. The... Where, where, where it? it starts to turn in the zone. It takes five cold damage <laughs> if slowed. Oh. E no? You guys have actually had that since way before you were level like 13 or 14. You just never no, the, used that. The battle standard of the beast. Yeah, is I mean, you the, make stuff? Is the yeah, one we got way gold, back. Gold, the, way back in the first save five and adventure. Extra cold damage. Uh, let's see. Sorry, you hit with the power that has the cold keyword. So uh, the question no, is, th th this thing very, very much on purpose does not have the cold keyword in it. It just says ah. power zone. Uh, I think exactly so that it doesn't just give everyone. In yeah, the no, zone but it would, it would cold. still do, it would still be impacted well, by was gonna... vulnerability. But it would cold. still get extra damage. Yeah. True. I think yeah, the only reason it hasn't really seen any use is because it's a standard action, and there are a lot of occasions where people are like, I mean, oh, can use right. a standard action I could that. take that and you're put right. it down That's for you, because like, there's a lot of times when Thyren yeah. doesn't need to heal and is just kind of flopping around. Yeah. Well, I'm All right. Yeah, absolutely. Order. You should, you should carry it then. Like, my standard action is like, almost always going to be used to like, yeah, sure. do my attacks, because I mean, like, it's just... The Nevon goes just away. The, it's just so much better to do that attack than like put a banner down for five yeah. cold damage while yeah. they're bloodied. I will yeah. put that on the inventory. Yeah, I saw that thing. I was like, that's a very neat reward. I'm pretty sure I gave it to you guys at like level five. It's just sort of sat there, not really being used. Yeah, that's a standard right. action. All right, I'm going to quickly grab a glass of water. And apply stuff directly to forehead. Oh, that's right. People can use me as a mount. I forgot this is my armor. I'm crazy. Yes, you can be <laughs> used as a mount. It's so funny. No one's ever done it. it so no one's look, done it. You gotta understand. There are really so many the magic items to play at this campaign. We just can't remember them all. This is true. But yeah, if yeah. you if you you could in fact give someone a piggyback, a friend can occupy your space with you, which is insane in this game. Uh. Yeah, you're back. What are you about the rules for mounted combat? No. I don't think they've ever come up. <laughs> no, they have not. We don't really have any range I'm... people. That's irrelevant. <laughs> That's irrelevant if you're being on me because I'm going into melee. And I'm right here. Yeah, but like, as I mean, as like, we don't have any ranged people for the ranged people to ride on, and most of our melee people either want to be spread out or like 
have different mo like on the other hand i'm slow as fuck so getting a piggyback from sylvie would actually yeah <laughs> so get on there i would certainly get thy run into melee faster you never you never I, rode on i had never ridden on anybody with that because i forgot it existed yeah yeah i mean <laughs> it, it exists if you if we get in combat you want to hop on and <laughs> get a piggyback from me there's a and saddle and everything. That's so silly. A ride. Yeah. Saddle and everything there if you want to use it. As embarrassed as she is to have it, I mean, it's plus three armor. You you gotta you gotta pick your battles and choose them. You know. When do we get another feet? Is it 16 uh, to get yeah, another feet? So. So. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Every two. Well, maybe when I hit level 16, I might take that Marifa's weird defense. Get minus one on AC, but get plus four uh, to will and reflex. Yeah. Yeah. But that won't be till I have another uh, feet slot free, though. Well, and back. And also mostly naked, because it's getting quite warm. Mm. But I will let the bugs in. Alright. Oh, so God, the idea of you guys just, like, charging headlong into a building with someone riding on Sophie's shoulders. Well, her hair's flaming. <laughs> She's like someone's nightmare got like caught in an unfortunate polymorph accident in the mid fight. There's the really, really thinking about doing hey. it because she's so slow and Sylvie so fast. Sylvie, real quick. That and your fiery. Resist you, five, resist five, Lamau. <laughs> I am, uh, resist, let's see, okay. uh, 12 fire. Then you can, in fact, sit on Sophie's yeah. shoulders while she's on fire and not burn. You mean, just, you mean just sit on the saddle yeah. back there. Hi-ho, <laughs> noble steed. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the eyes, Sophie. Ah, Go sorry. for the eyes. Ah! Fuck! Okay. So, morning has come. And so has a large number of the inhabitants of Torchlight. Okay. Oh, yeah. When we get into town, uh, Sylvie will, after she's uh, visited her mansion, making sure everything's good there, use uh, Tisrina's gifts for the first time and uh, have those on around town. Yeah, it's a real fun time while you're having a little walk around. Oh, she must be really sad. She's crying in the middle of the street. You're like trying to go for a morning jog and it's, it's <laughs> exhilarating. Yeah. And for once, like, Farron comes up to, to deliver a cup of tea in the morning with a sunshine pose and you're already, like, returning to the doorway, like, sweating and jogging. Oh, yeah, I was just getting real good. Wow. Work I see you finally <laughs> adapted to the glorious mm -hmm. mornings. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, sometimes good work out in the morning. Oh, great, I'm glad you're coming around. That's what I usually do my morning exercises, too. We could go for runs together if you want. Maybe, maybe. Great. I'll think on it. Oh, just let me know. Mm hmm See you later. Oh, don't don't forget your tea. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. And yeah. You've a very refreshing morning, Sylvie. Hooray.
Whereas Thyron, when she goes for a morning jog, just has the cast just jogging from <laughs> behind watching. Da, 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 da. Tch, 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 tch. Ah, glorious. Oh, yeah. So, once morning has come and serve the girls. And everyone's had their lovely tea in the morning. Um, there is a lot of people being swamped by baby. Uh, but there are mines yet to delve, and you have made sure that the, um, the door of annihilation won't do any annihilation. Which is always nice. Uh, who all is going? Uh, I shall be going. As will Thyron. Mm. Sylvie, that is. Stabby. I assume Tyre, if Pets is there still, yep. present. I... Cool. Fucking a and Julia at level four. Woo. I mean, we power leveled one person. <laughs> that better get power leveled. Fuck the B team. Yeah, we power leveled one person. No, no, no. I'm, 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 Come on. Uh, but no, no. Tis, 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 I have something she wants to uh, uh, show. Uh, she's look, looking extra sleepy this morning, but, but, so Thyrene, uh -huh. um, I know, I know you've now got a new member of the family and everything, and I know, I know your family's very important to you, so I worked on a little thing last night, um, so Tis will, uh, pull out from her pouch a uh, a small crystal, probably about like three or four inches uh, long, sort of like oh, I don't know the shape, but like the easiest way I can describe it in my mind is the big crystal of Final Fantasy fourteen sort of shape. I can't remember crystal the shape of it, but just small sliver. Yeah, just crystal shaped. Um, so I I made I made you this. Um, it's not like super duper um powerful and everything but i think it's very important for little ones uh to get lots of story times so i gave the other one to uh the new mum and i think auntie tyren can give bedtime stories now oh that's so sweet Thank you, Tess. My pleasure. My, uh, I do have one condition we're giving uh -huh. this, though. I would like to give some bedtime of stories course. in it as well. It would be my pleasure. Hopefully we don't spend too many nights out in the wilderness where we need to use it. Mm -hmm. It is. It is limited. It does does hold. It, it can't like do it all the time. So it's it's only really like for like an hour or two a day. Um, at most. But you know, I I thought it's something. I could maybe work on something a little bit more permanent. But I think that's going to be very expensive. A couple of hours is certainly enough for story time. In fact, mm -hmm. maybe we could do it on the road to the mines. Yeah, I, I don't see why not. Um, you know, give give the children a good tale of like daring adventure and everything. They might be a little young for like scary stories just as of yet, but you know, of course. only the most heartwarming tales for the little ones. Mm-hmm. Well, let's set off then. Excellent. All right, offward you will set. Shall I grab the assorted party? A glorious just five this time. How, I mean, I can bring Pobs real quick if you want. <laughs> Only one okay. healer. No. Okay, so scout first encounter and break out all summons. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I mean, that's a valid strategy, I guess. You are able to make your descent into the next layer of the mine. 
Bones. A mine! They call it a mine. <laughs> As you walk past the old uh, insectoid anted demons, they just sort of wave at you. They're going about their day just As you do. fucking chilling. Yep. Just doing demon things like sitting around and waiting for mortals to rock up on them. They see you arrive and they're like, oh, they're not here to rock up on us. All right, have a nice day. Have fun in the mines. Have a lovely nice day. And they probably will. They'll have a, a wonderful today. You've still got plenty of goblin to eat. Which is always nice. Now you are able to make it past the door of annihilation with your orby little key thing. And once you do so, you are met almost immediately by a flamuxing just impossible sight. Uh let's see here. Um you were headed down into a diamond mind, you know this much. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking diamonds, that's, Captain. That's what I would expect from a diamond mine, oh. is a lot of fucking diamonds. Do you know what a diamond in an ore looks All like? Right, I'm back. It's like a speck, usually. Welcome back. You've entered the diamond mines. These diamonds are fist-sized fucking nuggets. That's impossible. Oh, wow, we're rich. Fuck, that's impossible. Er. Shit. This... This one diamond here, this closest diamond to you, that 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 smallest rock of three, is like fucking fifty thousand gold. Mm. There's got to be some kind of catch here. Well, mm. time to crash the, the catch diamond economy. Besides these spooks. Yeah, you can see that there are large bronze figurines that are sort of wandering around, working these mines. Uh, filling up loads of carts. You can see that there are black robed figures with um, you know the old uh, Elden Ring mining stays where they dig mm -hmm. into the wall and it rips the rocks out? You can see two yeah. of these cloaked figures also doing the old stave mining into the wall with their magic staffs. And there is, at the top of the mine, a figure who is perched on the side. They appear to be some kind of elven figure of Ashen skin with a great big bow. Wow. It's the kind of art that we have seen many, many times. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very attractive. Yeah. Probably a tremendous bitch. Probably mm -hmm. a tremendous bitch, yeah. No, 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 no. She's, she's not. Misunderstood. She's no. just misunderstood, right. She's, no, no, no. We're not misunderstood. She was under someone's control. So never her fault. Never Ever. her fault. Yep. You're right. Nope. Ever. I can fix her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. I was mostly wondering who would say that first. So, way to, way to jump the gun there. Fair enough. But yeah, no one appears to have paid you notice. This golem here is jinkering and jankering around, just loading rocks into this thing. You can see that a number of them are walking minecarts of diamonds into a dark abyss further up. Wow. Mine cards of like fist diamonds. It's weird that a part yeah. of the mine is still actually yeah. being mined. This is unusual. <laughs> and they're taking mm. it somewhere. That's a good point. Um, I I don't mean I don't mean to be you know ruining good fun, but um, this seems a little too good. Um, and there's only one way to figure out if it's too good. Just because you know, this entire mine is too good. I don't know why this is this is new to you. I have a chunk. I mean, right. oh, so you pick up a, a diamond chunk, and it sure looks like a great big diamond. But you can feel it sort of vibrating in your hand, like not drastically, but there's a faint thrum in it, like um, reminiscent to us of like. A uh, guitar amp that's not being used but is switched on. So what you're saying is these Can are perfect an... plug material. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make an arcana test on that? Sure. Can I make a separate one without touching it? Yeah. 
you got, got no goddamn idea. This rocket sure pretty. Uh, Rena, this is a fancier looking rock, but you'd really probably need to get hands on to discover more. You're mm. certain that they look to you like real diamonds. They're clearly magical in some way, but you, there's no discernible, like it's not giving off radiation or anything. Like you It's not really giving know. off iridium vibes, is it? Uh, no. Mm. It's clearly crystallized Vespine gas. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll, I'll ponder upon this later, but uh, I'm mm, not sure about this. Uh, so are any of these people paying us mind? Like, I know the, the automatons are not, but are the shadowy cloak figures or that lady way up here looking The lady up there us? doesn't look like she's looking in your direction. If anything, she's staring up at the ceiling like a hand's back, feet kicking over the ledge, just sort of not paying attention to anything. Uh, and these individuals are too busy mining against solid walls to really notice you guys at all. Okay. Uh... Well, let's try and keep that, I guess, and try and stealth up as we go forward. Sure. I'm gonna wait for a particularly loud noise, and then we're just gonna like toss the chunk that I picked up. Yeah, you can probably like time it there. with one of these guys just digging in and. Wait a minute. Toss Hold it. on. If Sylvie's yeah. stealthing, can I just what? ride her and get carried along stealthily? <laughs> Oh, if you okay. want to give her away, you certainly can. Well, good luck, Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she could. She could absolutely so. stealth. Um, you are a great big beacon of off. sunshine. <laughs> I am also going to stealth. You can't turn off being blonde. Sylvie oh, can turn I off mean, being on fire. I can yep. turn off being blonde. It's called hair dye, but. Yes, Drink, hurry, get to get to work. Never. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, I'll make a test for this lady. What's your prescription? Plus 12. So, uh, fucking impossible. Yeah, no crits coming out anywhere. All right, yeah. Uh, Sylvie, Sasha, you are able to sneak up. Just follow along the wall here and stick to it a little bit, I guess. Yeah, sure, sense. you can step around the ledge just to point this out the wall goes down that way oh the wall goes down i thought it's oh, okay. not towards this you this way yeah okay oh, okay i thought the wall is towards us it looked like that on this uh you're right it does kind of look like that i guess there is a wall going down this way yeah because i assume this one is so like that, the same you're right that, yeah you're right that's a rise up there so yeah sorry yeah you can lean up against the wall uh this guy should be uh on this side of it then yeah, just don't Carry get on. too close to him. okay yeah. Let's see here. Uh, and this automaton, is it like walking this way back and forth, loading that up? Uh, it, yes, it does look like that's the path it's doing. You can okay. wait until it's gone over here and picked up a large rock and clinkety clanked its way along. Okay, just wanted to make sure before continuing moving. Uh, let's see, I guess it'd be fall along there while, like, while he's like walking like over to the wall there and then yeah, while he's Over doing to... that, you're going to dash across. I guess, like, right about here would be a stealthy Stop. enough place. Uh, can both of you give me perception tests? Absolutely. I love perception. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see here. Oh. Uh, 24. Oh. That's pretty okay. Oh. Well, luckily, you're the one in front of Sasha. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you are able to push it back. You probably have to, like, literally elbow her in the throat because of that one, like, hot. <laughs> Uh, as you can what? see that lent up against this wall a number of the diamonds are sort of hanging in it like precariously and loosely and you watch as one tumbles out of the wall freely it like and then it rolls across the ground instead of landing on you or Sasha okay and then when you Is blink it, and look again there's, there's still a diamond in the wall and yet you can see that there's like one here on the ground in front of here like it instantly regrew it. Yep. 
It's like the one there just sort of like pushed the initial diamond out as it came back up to the forefront. Um, they fucking growing diamonds. I mean, the entire place is growing diamonds. That's an entire plan of mine. Anyway, I will pick up that diamond. That is mining diamonds. You don't will... normally grow diamonds. I will pick up the one that is like fallen out and stuff it in my bag for now. Sure. It's not that anything down here is normal. No, I mean the entire walls regrow. That's been the point of the mine the entire I time. I suppose they were they were growing emeralds up on the previous floor, but those weren't humming like this. All right. What do we want to do? Do we want to continue going forward and try and get up? That woman take her out, or that sounds incredibly dangerous. She's got two of those things. Even if we were able to take her out, it'd leave us with everything else between the rest of the party and us. So, you want to take this back over to them and see what they can make of it, given our observations, or what? Might be a good idea. Uh, I assume you. Crates are as well are like just full more like diamonds and everything, right? You'd have to open them to see. They look like they're sealed up pretty tightly. All right. Uh, well, let me push forward a little bit here and yeah, go to the crates that like aren't near anybody. Yeah, sure. See if I can. Uh, yeah, you can see that these crates are nailed shut. There's no like latch or lift on them. All right. Let's see here. It is says sure. thievery or. Something if you want to pry it open. Yeah, it's I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's see here. My thievery is 18. Is yours any better? I also have 18, so I'll just assist. Okay. Don't roll a one. Excellent. All right. And the actual roll. Let's see that one. No. Okay. 29. So a 29. You manage to very gently and supremely quietly, uh, even though you have to like remove rusty nails from the lid of this thing, manage to pop the lid on this crate. And you can see that it is packed full of glass. Not diamonds, it's full of glass. Uh, it appears to be glass jars full of a thick, viscous substance. Uh, so, Shep, you've been around enough liquids to recognize that the little signs on them show that they're probably explosives. Ooh. All right. I'm... This crate is loaded to the brim with them. Indeed, the inside of this crate appears to have like a material, like felt padding. Hello. Let's get one of these back over to the rest of them and see what they can make of it. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'll get a jar of it and begin making my way back on over. I will also take a jar of it. Okay. A warning, while carrying these explosives on your person, should you take five or more damage from an attack, the jar will explode. Yeah, that's why I'm going to get back over there and uh, hand it off to the wizard so that they can examine it. Sure. Here you go, wizard. Very extremely dangerous. Uh, thank you. Really you have to assist in identifying it. it. <laughs> you... <laughs> hey, think fast. You might want to identify and see what's going on with it. They have okay. crates of them all over the place. I bet um, the rest of the crates are also filled with them. It's explosives. Be careful. Uh, okay. Can I give you the good old Gander? I know my bombs. Uh, yeah. Okay. I need to remember what... Are uh, the volatile liquid explosives? Uh, nitroglycerin. It wouldn't be nitro. I'm pretty sure nitro is processed, isn't it? It's not naturally occurring. Uh, naturally occurring liquid explosive. Ah, uh, yeah. I definitely just ended up on a list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I just opened up a fucking government Los Alamos uh, <laughs> lab document. <laughs> it's fine. It's from 1981. 
Uh, now cool. you're on the list. Now, now Scow, you just got to pretend you're getting gardening supplies. Uh, so that molten uranium there. oxide with oh, molten no. sodium? No, 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 no. Would it just be like cesium and water, wouldn't it? Well, that but would just go like... off the moment that makes contact. Yeah. So there's, you don't see a breaking ampule in this. It appears to just. I don't know. I'm. I know that there is a natural. Uh, I only know compounds. <laughs> it's really unlikely they'd have an explosive compound. Uh, that's globalsecurity.org. Well, I clicked it. Uh, it's blacked out. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I don't know what it is, but you see that it is a highly volatile liquid explosive that is naturally commonly occurring, but has probably been propagated and bulked with some other less natural explosive substance. Uh, my brief googling didn't turn it up, and any deeper googling, if that didn't put me on a creepy list, it hasn't turned it up yet. <laughs> if, if I disconnect, it's because. Someone fucking sent MI5 after me. FBI, open up! I would be impressed if the FBI turned up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, Benzvaline. Organic compound. Nope, synthesized. I was going to say, if it's a compound, it was probably synthesized. It's fine. I know that it exists out there. I don't know the name. <laughs> Liquid yes, tannerite. Acetone yeah. peroxide. Uh, guess acetone peroxide could. I'm okay. not sure. Ful fulminic acid. Okay, yes. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, okay. Known through the early since the early eighteen hundreds. Promising. Oh theorized to exist in the early 1800s, but not detected until 1966. That's fucking fine. That works. They Clearly, it's not a theory for these people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're horrendously explosive and really volatile, because they're just stored in a bunch of glass bottles, and no one here knows, like, the proper storage temperature of these, so they probably hit, like, their decay temperature fucking ages ago, oh, so boy. it's just made them more and more unstable. Hell yeah. And they're just they're just there chilling, or more correctly, not chilling because we're in the diamond layer, so it's like sixty fucking degrees or something stupid. Bing chilly. Mm. Um, I I would recommend we don't. Oh, right, Celsius. Me. That's extremely yes. hot. Sixty C. <laughs> yeah. How are we oh, not God. dead? Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. You're in. Fire you're in the up, How are you not dead? I mean, most of you have fire resistance. The rest of you have really high constitution scores. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would, I'd recommend um, we don't take these until, like, we're ready to go, and then I can safely sort them in the lab. I'm just going to throw one I, yeah. at one of these fuckers. I, I, <laughs> Asandria Whispers, which sounds weird, you've never heard the title Brutch ever speak in anything lower than a bimbo shout. I think that that would be a terrible idea. Carrying around explosives is a good way to go up in smoke. And also, if you throw this, what's to say they don't have more on them and it causes a big chain reaction? Well, we know oh, they yeah. have more of we them, don't want to set off like every single box. Hit. That I'm would kill just everybody. Just gotta make sure I don't throw it at somebody who's standing next to a box. And How do you know throwing it doesn't blow it up in your hand. And we are in an enclosed space. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm just going to put the yeah, I know. I just want to point this out that because it's highly volatile, the act of throwing it means you're going to slosh the liquid around in your hand because some momentum works. You'll probably blow it up in your own hand and take it off. It's a good way to lose your hand. Yeah. Oh, look, I promise. I promise. I'll make oh, I've got to stop making all these projects. I I'll, I'll, I'll find something cool for you to throw it, that won't instantly blow oh, up as soon as you I've got cool bombs to throw. Yeah, let's I've still got down, those. Let's put down the one that's probably cooked. I've still got those bombs from from Gwen all those uh, times ago. Been saving yeah. them for something good. Well, this might be something good. I mean, if we ever need to bury the entire diamond mine, I mean, then yeah. you certainly got the way. 
But that would be horrible foreshadowing, and I'm sure that's not necessary at all. <laughs> Alright, well, what are we doing? Sure. Are we going to, going to attack them? We're going I mean, to move up? What's up? Are they doing anything that deserves being attacked for? Nothing quite yet, but you know how these things usually I go. I mean, I got a pet dragon the last time, so that I mean, we should a pretty wide variance, honestly. We should probably try... We should probably try and converse with the... with the lady over there. Alright, well, before we do so, before do you want... Before we start stabbing things. Well, before we do so, do you want to hop on, okay. Theory? If you're sure. Better to be prepared now. Excellent. Uh, I can't see one of yours as tokens when you do that, so I'm just going to make you guys stack like that. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> or indeed, just stay adjacent. And I'll put just a, little, adjacent, a, little, yep. a little symbol on you that says you're riding. Uh, you... Uh, there you go. <laughs> the little, little, little haunt says. Mounted. Tally ho. Yes, tally ho. And I guess this would be the first bit of open area. Uh, yeah, you can step out into the open in all of your glory. Uh, I'm going to stay here. You're going to stay hidden? Okay. Yep. Behind this box. Yeah. The elven figure perks up and glances down the mineway. She lets out one sharp whistle and the entire mine seems to pause in motion. It's probably pretty airy how every single golem just sort of slowly tilts and turns its head towards you all. Most of them still like bodies facing the direction they were working in, just heads rotate towards you. A lot of um, horror movie mannequin energy. Hello. Greetings. What brings you to this we mine? We are exploring to make sure it's safe for all the miners. As you can see, the miners here sure are perfectly it. safe. Great job. This is the first place that hasn't been overrun by horrible monsters Excellent. or demons. I have no idea what you're talking about. Have you not what been horrible to monsters like, any demons? other level of the mine in the last couple of years? No, that would you mean can't we leave? could leave. No, Are you of course not. Are you to stay here, or do you just want to? Uh, that is a good question. If I were compelled to stay, who's to say I am also not compelled to enjoy mm. being down here? Then why are this you This is very here? true. More to the point, I am down here because I cannot escape. And now that you're down here, likely neither can you. So, welcome to the mine. I hope you are not the kind of race of creature it starves to death. You or your Oh, this one's not girlfriend. my girlfriend. Why... Why wouldn't we be able to leave? Oh, would you like to give it a try? I'm greatly interested to see if you're able to oh, walk out of the, the door you just entered. Door of Annihilation? We, Sorry, we turn that to walk off. out. Don't worry about it. Yes. Oh, no, no. Not the Annihilation part. Uh, the door has always looked open from here. Okay. Go. Go ahead. Give it a go. Taro, go ahead and try and walk through. Don't die. Okay. Nope. Other other That's way. That's the wrong way. Good attention paying. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. You walk back out through the door. And mm -hmm. then you, when you arrive, you walk past and nearly bump into Rena. Oh. All right, I see. Congratulations for staying 
I look forward to have... Well... I look forward to having company for a time. Would you like to join me? I can pretend that I have made a cup of tea for you. Oh. You will have to air mine the cups. Luckily, they're oh, made of I've solid got diamond. Actual... Well, I've got actual we can tea talk a bit stuff. more here. I will pass. It has been so long since anything has actually traversed my lips that I might lose my sanity to embrace a grasp of the mortality. Oh. Uh... A normal life right now is quite impossible, and I am content to sit here, much like these golems continue their endless, pointless work. What? Where are they taking these diamonds, anyway? Well, if you look at that one over there, she points at a golem as it walks through into the dark of the cave, and then you see as it comes out over here, through the cave. They're taking them nowhere, functionally. So there's one giant loop. Yes, congratulations to the Von Dark um, Bubble. Do you know who set all this up? Huh. The Von Darks, clearly. It's called the Von Dark Bubble. Admittedly, I gave it the name. The well, Von Dark Bubble. There's a bunch bubble. of different Von Darks, and some of them are nicer than others, or more sane than others, or more contactable than others. Fucking doubt. They're all the well, psychopaths. I don't want to debate another. their mental health status, but some of them can be conversed with quite amicably. Yeah, for mm, how long? Until I don't know. we get hungry? Guinevere's been living under the tavern stairs for months now. Under tavern yeah, stairs, kind of, like actually. some kind of hobo? Glorious. I'm glad to see the Von Darks have fallen so terribly low. You bring a glorious smile oh. to my face. See, those lips are still good for something. Oh, they are good for many things. Unfortunately, these golems are not anatomically correct. Oh, that is unfortunate. I'm not sure they'd be much fun anyway. No, they do not make noises. They don't scream and they won't choke you at all. Sam's gonna bite her lip for a second and then shake her head. Anyway. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good time, doesn't it? Exactly. And yet, alas. Well, we've got plenty of time here if any of you are interested. Maybe in a bit. Yeah. Let's see about this place first. Oh, very well. Have fun looking around. Oh, be careful not to try and live with any of the diamonds. I definitely don't mm. think that works. I wouldn't oh. imagine so. There's rather a creature around here somewhere. It's supposed to be guarding the way down to the next level, but I haven't seen the way down to the next level in... I don't know how long it's been. Presumably 100 to What's your years. name, miss? I'm Theren. Uh, my name? I cannot remember. I am uh, dreaming. Uh, the dreaming... I don't know how I say it in common. Well, I'll just call you dreamy then. And I'm <laughs> the... Pa I mean silly. The, of course. I'm the pony. <laughs> the pony. Yeah. Uh, she says her name in uh, oh. deep speech. Does anyone speak it? Deep speech? I don't Doesn't believe so. Pets? Uh, no. No, yes. Deep. Oh, wait. Outer gods. Is that? Deep yeah, that's deep. Is that speech. different? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's deep yes. Okay. All right. Her name translates to "Dreaming Dark Assassin." I will translate that. I like huh. dreaming. I'll just call her dreaming. Or yeah, dreaming. Very well. Because she is I'll dreaming. After my own. I'm not after your Kinda. heart. That would be a waste. It would be everywhere. And plus, what would I do with a heart, huh? There is no one to deliver it to. A uh, figure of speech. There. Fair enough. As you might have guessed, common is not my first language. Understandable. Fair enough. 
I'm glad it's understandable. Not to ask too personal a question, but are you a vampire? Mm -hmm. Then no. what are you that's allowed you to live down here with no food? Mm, I don't know. That is a good question. I thought for a while I was an elf until I realized that elves would be dead otherwise by now. Mm -hmm. They would be quite dead by now. She shrugs. I look like elf. Admittedly very ashen and gothic, but I look elven. Or you might actually still be an elf in this whole time loop thing just doesn't affect you for hunger. It's possible, although I've definitely noticed that I need to perform upkeep on these golems or they will eventually yeah. rust. If bronze is not immune to Would you mind, Never mind them. terribly much if I just hmm. gave you a look over? It might help us figure out what's going on here. Well, you can have more than a look over as long mm. as you go hard. That we'll will not be a problem. Get to that later. <laughs> Yeah, I am all eager and all a tickle. I should probably just, like, slide down the cliff towards you guys. Oh, all right. Yeah, you don't see an actual easy point of ascent up there. When does that stop me? Right. What yeah, happens... Slide down and hop down there. What happens if I attempt to toss one of the diamonds out through the exit door? Uh, roll an athletics. Uh, it's fine. It's lower than your AC. Oh. You do not hit yourself with a rock. Huh. <laughs> just imagine you just going <laughs> and then knocking yourself the shit out with yeah. a rock. <laughs> it, has, it doesn't seem any different than just trying to walk out. Yeah, about that. Uh, as you hold the rock out. And it returns. Uh, Fire and Tilvi looking over this individual. Uh, when she suddenly just sort of winces and clutches the side of her head. Oh, what was what that? Was what? Shrugs and shakes her head, but you can already see her hands are going for a couple of knives. I'm not sure entirely. I... She pauses and looks over at your companions. None of you just tried to leave with Diamond, did you? I, I give you one order. Well, even one request. It wasn't even an order. I said, please don't. I'm pretty sure it was very polite. Guys, whatever you're doing back there, knock it off. Uh, I, I didn't do anything. I, I didn't try to door. leave with it. What did, did you, you do? Did you do something to it? I threw it out. Oh, oh. God. Oh, no. I didn't try to go with it. Oh, you no, still... of course. Yes, you tried to leave with Diamond. Of course you did. You this did is try... not exactly what I was hoping for to happen. I was so excited about meeting someone that wouldn't have to be stabbed. Well, we you may stab us, but uh, we'll well, try and stop you. I promise we'll there. try not to hurt you back. Or <sighs> any necessary. We'll just... We'll just knock you out. I did not realize I had to be literal. This is incredibly distressing. I, I was very much looking forward to having myself spread wide open with some kind of medical calipers and then spat into and called a bad girl. Oh god, this is so hot. <laughs> That's kind of hot. <laughs> well, I'll promise you I will do that later <laughs> on after this. Well, that would be a shame because you would be corpse and that would be creepy. I mean, you know what? Maybe you'll be lucky. Maybe death doesn't stick if you are trapped in the Von Dark time bubble. Or we'll just win and knock you out and wake you up afterwards. No, of course, of course. It's definitely going to go like that. I'm pretty sure you've just translated my name as Spooky Evil Killer. So, I mean, you can probably guess what I'm particularly good at. I, I can understand that, but I'm quite good at it myself. Very well, good luck. Are we to sure you as she's well. not the monster guarding the exit in the first place? We don't know. I've had that theory before, but I've tried to throw myself from rock and kill myself just to find out that I did wake That's up again. That's pretty strong evidence you are probably the monster. I... Yeah. 
Oh, that's terrible news. Well, Damn, that is terrible. Fun. I hate that Don't news. Don't worry. I am extremely good, good at yes. breaking curses, I promise. It wouldn't be the first... Oh, well, how wonderful. Yeah. yeah wouldn't I... be the first monster we've liberated. I hope that your brain still works after it has been um, deprived of oxygen. It usually does, yeah. I'm a big fan of this. I've yet to be choked out enough to completely lose enough oxygen to my brain. Oh, well, and clearly your partner has not been trying hard enough. The safe word, just so you're aware, is harder. That's a terrible safe word. Alright, I understand. Exactly. Hey, I'm not afraid of dying. I like this woman, she's fun. Sasha, you're up. The bronze golems are basically pulling out the great big... I say pulling out, it's more like their arms are retreating and, and great big looped bronze sides are dropping out of their arms and into their hands. Well, I'm okay. glad I took the healer with me. <laughs> the healer doesn't like being here, but here we are. Let's, here let's we are. Make our, make our way over. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to throw stuff out in the fighting. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I, I had a sneaking suspicion that someone would try one when, when they were like, Taru, go out and check. I was like, oh, wow, Taru hasn't picked up a rock. <laughs> uh, and you were safe to walk out and back in again. I was like, I guess it's not going to happen. They can have a lovely long conversation with this lady and try and figure out the puzzle. <laughs> you throw the rock. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. 26 versus AC. Uh, that is a hit. Nice. Uh, let's. Cut off. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it dropped. Plank. There's no one within range for me to shift. All right. Bronze Golem! Gonna try and stab Sylvie. Understandable. Um, let's see. Here. What is their best move against you? Uh, yeah, all right. A crit fail. Uh, you know what? It's going to use its ability. Mad Sacrifice. Misses an attack. Okay. Effect. Free action. The attack instead hits, and the creature drops to zero hit points. It's a wow. kamikaze drone. Okay, so how much damage did I take? Fourteen. Fourteen? Oh yep. boy, wow. Fucking... What an ability of that. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, perfect. That is perfect. You miss? No, I didn't. <laughs> no. It, then it, you know what? It's worth it. A minion giving up its life to do fucking two minions worth of damage to a character? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Jesus. I can't do anything about that. Yep. Rana. Okay. Um, Didn't think we were going to go into, into a tussle, but, you know. Here we are. I was planning to get into a tussle of some kind. That's fine. Uh, Syl Sylvie, I, I need your assistance after we do all this silly fighting. I have a theory. Okay. Right. You hear a sound shout. Surely, uh, <laughs> surely Sylvie has the theory. Uh... <sighs> oh. No, I don't. I'm not holding her grandmother. Great grandmother? Uh, great grandmother. One of the two. Okay. Uh, sorry, I think I just took psychic like, damage then. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. So let's. Uh... Wait, 
try and slow down the this one here. There we go. Bloop. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, which target? Sorry. It was this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, thirty-three versus a fortitude will hit it. Its speed is despedulated. Mm -hmm. Takes nine damage. Uh, any other actions? No, oh, that's my go, thank you. Okie pokey. Oh, oh. poopy lose. Uh, who did we? Uh, guard. Oh. We lost guard. Oh no, of course we lost guard. I shouldn't have been surprised. Guardy has the worst internet. Purple Bronk annihilated. Poor Gobble Bronk. Alright. Uh, Bronze Golem. It does a charge. Yeah. Wall. 28 versus... Oh, I have to charge over here. Uh, pretty sure 28... How does I hit Sylvie? 28? No. No. All right. Yes. Then yes, it does. <laughs> yep. I figured. I almost really want them to hit me instead of this. <laughs> 28 damage already. Yep. Tari, you're up. All right. You feel like the anti Taru minions. <laughs> oh, great. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense, Gardifer. Uh, let's go with. Go with what? That thing's already dead. That, that I mean, you can dead. hit it again if you want to. Oh, okay. Sorry. And you can definitely use an encounter to do it if you want. I'd be glad for you to hit it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that, no. All right, then. <laughs> I might recommend watching what's going on at all. Yes, it's a little bit irritating. Uh-huh. Let's see. I guess I can, I can charge the miner. There we go. Alright. 28 versus the Miner's AC. Uh, uh, miss. Yeah, I figured it might. Blink. Alright, Bronze Golem. Uh, it can't quite reach you. Uh, it, oh, can't it can't charge over the bot. That that's too much difficult terrain. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, so it moves over here. Uh, this one as well. Can't get over the boxes. You're fine. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. This one is going to do oh, a no. death from above. Uh, they'll even land into flanking when they DFA. Well, it's a crit fail, by which I mean it uh, it crashes into you and annihilates itself, and it is, in fact, a hit. Uh, you take 14 damage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. It is crunch. It's it really so is. Effective. It's so effective. <laughs> it's so Your effective. AC means nothing here. Charge really again! <laughs> Once more, let's go. 34 versus your AC. Oh, for Sataru's. Yeah, versus Sataru's. 34 does not hit, no. Okay. I think you mean it probably does I mean, hit. You mean 34 does hit. You take another 14 damage. <laughs> Wait. It's exploding itself. Oh. They, again, uh, I'll repeat the ability. They miss with an attack. Free action. The attack instead hits, and they drop to zero. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, okay. 
<clears throat> okay. So okay. Uh, let me look here. I kind of don't want to just do vaulting charge and immediately give her combat advantage against me. Yeah, it seems no, like no. a like a bad idea. So instead, I think we do a blade vault. Yes. We will do a blade vault and shift down two squares. 38 versus her AC. 38 definitely hits her. Okay, she will be taking uh, 22 da uh, cold damage. Okay. She is quite cold. Well, and I have not felt cold in ages. How gratifying. And now she gets cold vulnerability, yep. And that is it for me this turn. Okay. Hey guys! Whee! Death Rover! <laughs> yep. All right, another <laughs> fail that just actually is a death row above hit, and you take 14 damage. That's it, body slams the earth. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. I would be so disappointed, but these guys God. rock. You bloodied yeah, me God. out. I think you uh, bloodied me now. You might actually just uh, go down astounding. before I get a turn, which is going to be... Okay. Oh, I, I've, I've got 46. As long as, they do, as long as the miners don't also <laughs> have an exploding ability. All right. <laughs> this is an attack. Uh, your AC. That it's misses. a miss. And it stays a miss. It's not going to drop <laughs> itself. That would be a terrible waste for this creature to drop itself to zero. Uh, I tell you that. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, here we go. All righty then. Uh, let's see here. I could go with a... All right. Sylvie, targeting you. Okay, oh, okay. No, fire Target in, actually. Me. Where's my will? Uh, 34 yeah, versus that... your will. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. You were dazed. Okay. That's not That's not too bad. Yeah, no, you're honestly, it's not the worst. Uh, let's see here. And now that you're dazed... Oh, yeah, it's probably got an attack that does a lot more when you're dazed. Uh, let's see here. Make a rapier or hand crossbow or bow attack. Shift two squares, make another rapier or hand crossbow or bow attack. I guess I could swap between them pretty freely. But I suppose out right now I have to choose what she's holding in her hands. If she'd stayed up on the cliff, I could have just been double tapping you with a longbow. But I think in this case, it's just rapier and hand crossbow. It's just okay. better to use rapier, yeah. Yep. All right. So this is against Thyrin. That will hit. 38 versus your AC. And then she shifts. And then we'll make another stabbery. That I have to go. 31 versus your AC. Uh, no, that misses. Yeah, that I think is worth a check. That misses. Okay, cool. Good to know. Okay, so only the first one hits you. And that does... Wait, I used the wrong set of attacks. That was the other one, and it uses... They're against Reflex, I'm sorry. And the, the attack was a lower by four, so would a 34 and a 27 uh, Reflex? Yeah, both of those hit my Reflex, you asshole. Okay, thank you. That's less than ideal. Uh, you take 15 and 18 damage. Wow, holy and shit. Ow. Ongoing ten psychic save ends. Uh hold on. What what damage type is the um the baseline? Uh, oh. uh looks like psychic. Fine. I don't resist any of that, but I do have big saving throw bonuses to end that dot, so that's nice. Ouchies. Perfect. 
And that's a 10. All right, I've got another self-destruct golem. Ah, oh, no, this one's down on the ground already. All right, Blaspheme Miner is going to stab at Tari. Uh, with its big stave of meanness. Oh. That'll be Guardy DCing again. And a 38 yep. versus Taru's AC. Winter. Just gonna I said it hit. I did not hear it hit. No, did not. Just no. Dead, no. Okay. dead silence. Sorry, I, I must have missed my button, okay. but I did try to say it. Okay. Be 20 damage, that would be a pretty astounding modifier. 1d10 plus 8, and you are marked. 11 damage, you are marked. I know, staggering. It has a marking effect on it. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, and this one is going to double move. It cannot get a good charge angle. Clink, clank, clink, clank. All right. I'm feeling a little bit dazed. Yeah. Uh, Sylvie's looking a bit hurt. You're a bit hurt, and more dudes are coming at you. All right. So I'm first of all, I get five more a times. save against the days because superior will it never, ever, ever works. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. let's see. This could fuck me, but I'm really considering doing uh my channel divinity to give myself another saving throw with another plus two bonus on top of that. And that would just end it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead. Surely I can't fuck this up even harder, right? Okay. No. Okay. Oh, no. The days is okay. gone. All right. Hallelujah. All right. The rotation begins. So, Sylvie real hurt. Just a touch, just a bit. A touch, a bit, a touch, a bit. Okay. So. Assassin Lady Scary. Which of these would be better? I don't need that. See, so yeah, I think I will just go ahead and use Resurgence on, on uh, let's say, this. Actually, did you attack the killer lady? I did attack okay. the killer lady. That's yeah, why I should do have a Resurgence on, on her. Bonk. Twenty six. Uh, twenty four yeah. versus her ACA. Twenty-six okay. versus her AC. Unfortunate, uh, but no. luckily the healing okay. is uh, still gonna go through. So Sylvie, you can spend a healing surge plus three. Now let's see where that puts you. Cool. Plus twenty-three. It's pretty nice. good. Puts me at sixty-nine. Nice. Uh, hmm. no, but I do still have a move Any action, action points, which I think I'm gonna convert down to a minor action, and drop one of these. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I will gladly spend another surge to get back to full with five more yeah, I, I kind of automatons coming. Clink, clank, right. clink, clank. My surge value. Is that, Be as much health as I can get points. for that. So brings me uh, back to full. All right, here we go. Crit. All right, that hits. So that's just Fourteen seven. damage. 14. Okay, so it's 14 regardless. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> they actually do just hit really hard. Uh -huh. Yeah, I thought and you said they did two word minions worth of damage when they explode. Well, no, usually they are two min. Like, usually they do seven damage. Uh, these creatures, though, yeah. they just have 14 damage. <laughs> They're just stronger. They just built different, you know? Yep. And that one's a miss, by which yep. I mean it hits you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It self destructs and you to get stabbed. Yep, I've taken the damage. <laughs> I think putting sideways on them just makes it funnier. It does, it does. 
Yeah. <laughs> they initiate um, sideways, and then you take damage. All right, Sasha, you're up. I'm glad I have enough HP to tank through this for at least a little bit. <laughs> I've tanked, what, four of these guys now? Five? Wow, you could take five guys? I was about to be, uh... <laughs> it's about to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's a lot of guys. Let's get this guy. Oh boy. The guy, the guy, you gotta get the guy. That's a hit. Chuck on. You shovel the fuck out of him. Man, a 41 to hit, that's some good numbies. Uh, 32 damage, looks like. And they nope. become sideways, although they don't become sideways dealing full damage to you. They Norm just become, sideways. he just becomes sideways. Tragic. Rena. Oh, sorry. Did you have any minor actions you want to do? Uh, no. Okay, book. Rena. Okay. Uh, right. I see. There's the. Oh no! Big, big kill box over there. So. Eh. Eh. Yeah, there do appear to be three more golems that haven't charged in yet. Yep. Uh. So. Uh, I am going to uh, summon. We get her actual token. Uh, that. Mm. When you summon Satressa, it's kind of weird. You definitely summon her, but she looks like a shimmery after vision of herself, like a. Mm. You know if you cross your eyes and people start like fade and you take the edges off and become double visiony? She mm -hmm. looks like that. Okay. Okay, that does put another point in my theory. Um okay. So uh she is then going to thus target um nameless elf. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh dreaming. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, you know, give her her name tag, a very long name tag, because uh -huh, her real sure name is. is Dreaming Dark Assassin. Oh, come on now. Her real name is Dreamy. Yeah, yeah it, it's definitely Dreamy. So, target her. Maybe. Ooh. 26 versus her will. No. I I will action point reroll that, because I think this is important. Okay. Um... Is that the right modifier to make it work? That that it. Oh wow! Did I actually fuck? It's yeah. a plus twelve right now. Should it be? A Should it be number? higher? That feels really low. Yeah, it's I think super I didn't low for this it. level. I didn't think I didn't tweak it, so it would be what plus twenty would normally be working with normally. Pretty sure that's like the average of whatever you got. What's your ray of frost tune? Uh, ray of frost. It shots. Um, What's the plus in that bitch? Sorry, just, just hit the just button. Hit. Let's see what the mod is. Yeah. You don't even have to hit the button. If you just hit like the info bit, it'll have the attack bonus. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yours, it should be a plus 20. So yeah. uh, add eight more onto that. That is 34 versus will. That's a hit. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can keep that 8B. Uh, yeah. All right, she takes 10 damage and uh, does not become dominated. Oh, damn it. That whole thing about burning down a fucking tree. God damn it. And see Dreamy flinch as she's hit and then looks over her shoulder. Yeah, I apologize, but you're going to have to be a lot rougher than that. A lot more hands-on, too, I think. Mm. Most certainly. I think Cenotrae can do that. Cenotrae! Yeah, absolutely. It's Cenotrae could as well. But yeah, yeah, sorry. Cenotrae. Sorry, I got Dragon Actually, on the Cenotrae bridge, would so. probably stay the fuck away from this. Mm-hmm. Judging by the fact that your summoned creature here that appears to be some kind of like temporal bubble as she wanders around doing her abilities right about now. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's my go then. Okie pokey. Uh, uh, Atari. Yep, uh, let's actually try that. Uh, one? Uh, 33 to hit this guy is 24 damage and he remains prone. 
All right. Have an effect on your bloodied homeboy? No. Okay. All right. All righty. Charge! Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> That's a miss, but which I mean it's a hit. <laughs> yeah, luckily 22 hits here. All right. Next one. <laughs> look at you, like, look how many you defeat. And you're like, yeah, uh, defeated. <laughs> the singe marks. All right, come on. Charge it, Ari. All right, yep, yeah, okay. Okay, oh, right, it lives. All right, 14 more damage. Holy shit. <sighs> at least there's no more of them coming at me right now. Suvi! Okay. Um, I think it's time for... God, do I just second wind? Uh, <laughs> honestly, my turn is so far away, it's not a bad uh, idea. Yeah, because I have to go through the miner and... Yeah, dreamy. Dreamy and mine yeah and I'm going to gonna struggle to heal you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're going to use... Yeah. We're going to use an action to second wind. <laughs> That gives me 20 more HP. And then... And plus two to all your defenses. If and plus two to anything. all my defenses, yep. Yeah. Uh, Which really help against these guys, for sure. Yeah. And then I'm going to I'm gonna use an action point so I can uh, do an attack this turn still. Okay. And it's just, uh, just going to be an at-will, but it's going to be a good at-will on Dreamy there. Sure. Uh, yeah. All right, you get the repost strike in. Yeah, and now, now next time when one of your minions gets to run in and try and attack me, I can stab it before it gets <laughs> to explode. Stab it. That's a good idea. All right. <sighs> and then the minor chan uh, stabs at you. Do you react with a repost? No. I mean, you might as well you if sure? he, you yes. know. Okay. Well, no, save it. I'm saving it for when this other minion charges in and I can block 14 damage from just immediately happening. <laughs> this guy doesn't guarantee a hit. This thing does. Mm, yeah. Okay. This guy is going to do a sweeping cleave standard encounter power. Close burst one. Uh, technically, you guys are occupying the same place, yeah, but you are also occupying it in a close burst one. This is against your yep. AC. One, two, uh, 29 oh, and 37. Yeah. Fire end, the 37. Uh, I'm just going to hit you with ease. Uh, okay. All right, you take... Huh, yeah. Me. All right, you take... Ow! 24 damage and a marked. That wasn't encountered, though. It's now spent. And yeah, it'll take his 11. Dreamy. I'm just gonna try and make Sylvie set. Uh yeah, she's not bloodied yet. Mm, let's try and daze Sylvie Savens. 31 versus your will. Yeah, yeah, that will hit. Alright, you are dazed. Uh Let's see here. So does days mean I can't do immediate action stuff? Uh, let me look at. Look yeah, at yeah, look that up. I'm gonna keep going with that time. Days, you never take a center. You can't take immediate actions or opportunity actions. Ah, fuck. Owned. Well. Owned. 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 Okay, and let's use primal fear strike. Close burst three targets enemies. Take oh no, taking ongoing psychic damage. I think the uh, no. The only one oh, I forgot to make my uh, save right? against that. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Was oh, the day part of that? Yeah, yeah. Give no, that was that was a different thing. Okay. So. Um, no, two different abilities. The, no. the Slayer's puppets is what dazed you. Which All right. You are still taking ten ongoing psychic. Uh. So. 
mm, you know what? I'm going to let you keep that ongoing psychic. She's going to try and put that on Sylvie as well. So Understandable. Final Fear can target more than just you. <laughs> yeah, understandable. All right. Stab and stab. Uh, 34 and a 25. That's your reflex. Well, the first one will hit. The second one will not. Okay. Just double checking. That's with your plus two to all defenses still hits. Uh, yes. Okay. Unless, wait, uh, does her power have, like, any, it has a psychic keyword, doesn't it? Yes, psychic keyword. Uh, psychic is not one of the ones that is in. I don't uh, think you can activate her. Yeah. Alright. Uh, 12 yeah. damage, 10 ongoing psychic save ends. Okay. I'm just going to put a little pink dot on you guys so I don't forget. Okay, and... You know what? I'm going to burn her AP. Uh, to do the primal fair. Close burst oh. three. Targets oh. taking ongoing psychic damage. Uh oh. Versus will. Whew. Twenty-seven and an eighteen. I crit fail against Thyren, and a twenty-seven versus the will of Sylvie. Is that enough? Um. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have combat advantage. Because I am dazed. Even though I counteract that with the. Total defenses. So yes, that does that does beat my will. All right. You take ten psychic damage and a dominate it. Okay. That's that's less than ideal. She put the leash on this pupper. I'm sorry, guys. Yep. Alright, Bronze Golem Chan, you're dead. The last theme minor. Continue beating on Taru. Uh, 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 uh. 25 versus your AC and get... In fact, wait, no. Use the sweeping thing. Close burst one. I'll also throw that at Sisha. Both of you, I think. I miss both of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, he was also on. He was also on the ground. I might drop him to zero just to hit you both. I'm doing it. I'm dropping <laughs> him to zero to hit you both. Yeah, he Damn. does. It's just way for way funnier on a creature that oh, has boy. like 144 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, nah. I want. I want the damage on both of you. All right. Uh, you take 15 and 22 damage. Itaru, Sasha. You're both marked, not well, we both does the same? anything. Oh, sorry. Um, you're right, it's CV1. You both take 15. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, let me do some quick counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, you know what? Pets, roll me 1d8. All right. Oh, jeez. All right, all the bronze golems get up. <laughs> Are you all fucking with me? Great. All eight of them get up. Fuck. Well, I know what I'm doing on my turn. Well, yes, but... Uh, panicking? <laughs> all, all, all the bronze golems over here. Yep. What, uh, what... Fuck all, me! All eight golems just got up. If you'd rolled a one, I'd have gotten one golem. This is probably the first what, what, time when these triggered that rolled happening? in my favor. This God guy's going down. Damn I know. It, okay. Uh, the miner over here dying. Okay, so we need to kill or, the other miner over here first. Or I blow up all mm -hmm. the guys adjacent to me. Uh, they are all on the ground, actually. Yeah, sorry, one sec. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken off their sideways boy icons. They are, in fact, still sideways boys. <laughs> you know, that's, they a, that's just a very all good idea. Their eyes. Okay. No, I thought they. I thought they actually got up. Okay. If they got they up to help, they, they can do their fucking blowing up, up again. thing, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, and you know what? Uh, let's just charge, charge this round. Not the moo. It's getting her crazy. Not the moo. No. The moo. The, oh no, moo, I'm hmm. sideways at you. You take 14 damage. No, no, that's that, that's like a third of, a quarter of my health. Yeah, it's really bad for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 10 psychic Ow. at the start of your turn. You take... Yeah. All right. And so, then, yeah, you are surrounded by foes 
I Your companion noticed. looks to be in the So is Sylvie's a dominate save ends or is it just a dominate? Like, okay, perfect. I will first save use ends. a minor action to do one of these boy boys. So Sylvie, you can make a plus five save against your ongoing damage and against your domination. Okay, let me see if I have anything that also uh, yeah. it. is dominate like a charm effect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, Don't so this is with plus seven then. Because I will die. Dope. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I understand that. Oh, I'm holy going fuck. to die soon. Okay. Too. Good. <laughs> All right. Yes, you also get to you save, also save that against the five. ongoing psychic. Excellent. Yeah, with also a plus five. All right. Oh, no more. Because... Nice. <laughs> so. <sighs> All right. All right, that's that's the, 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 the psychic damage isn't a charm effect, but you know. No, I mean I still get the bonus. All right, against so it. that was nice. That was that a was that was a good use of my minor action. Good, All right. Good. Secondly, good. Uh, I'm going to use the good. solar wrath encounter power to annihilate everybody adjacent to me. That is a fantastic. That sure one. is one, two, All three, right. four, five, six, seven, Let's see. seven targets. I have a, have a plus, plus two against two freedom. against. If you mean combat advantage, I think I have advantage. Yeah. All right. So one, uh, two, CAA, three, which you have four, already six, against seven. Them anyway, yeah, it doesn't stack. Okay, we're starting from the top and clockwise it. Okay, uh, thirty-five versus Will. I'm sure. just gonna move him to the side for a sec while I go for a crit. Hit. Uh, they hit twenty-eight. Oops, sorry. 28 on Dreamy. Uh... Unfortunate. No. No. Uh, I th Yeah, That's you, you fine. do not hit her well. That's uh, a little bit higher than that. Uh, 22 is a no. 35 is a yes. Okay. So... 23 is a no. Okay. Set these guys in back. That is, that's really yeah. good still. That's four of them that don't get to do their exploding. Yeah, and not only that, two of those are right. ones that one already. And that is my minor well. action. I'm going to heal yeah. Sylvie with a healing word. They uh, get all that, Thank you. and then the extra 2d6 because I used a radiant power. There you go. How am I doing? It's a plus 18. All right, so this is 38. Right. And having done that, uh, I'm strongly contemplating. Uh, doing an action search to make another bonk. Uh, let me see. Let me pick a correct bonk here. Not that one. Any one that heals me. <laughs> quite, uh, quite desperately. Oh, hey, I crit, so I get a power back. That's nice. You do? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is a really easy way to farm that effect. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> can uh, you just get Solar Wrath? Yeah, technically back? I can. Yeah, honestly, you might just want to get Solar Wrath back to the next time. Because they just yeah, yeah you're right. I will, I will, I will <laughs> yeah, recharge say, Solar Wrath. Uh, he's gonna, he's definitely uh, gonna make this happen. And then yeah, I think. Oh, do you know how tempted I am? Even yeah, though he's full health, to make him drop so they'll get up again. <laughs> 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 you, is, yeah, you should. I shouldn't, because that's when I roll the one, and only one of them gets back up. And I'm also, there's a guy who does great sword damage to you. Yeah. Also, that's not the greatest because only yeah. two of them go between him and her, so right. they just get back up to go back down immediately to make an attack get against get uh, Dreamy get here. Get back up. Bonk. Thirty-seven hit this time. I don't see that yet. Well, I think roll twenty is just having an old fat All right, sixteen a radiant will definitely hit. How much damage? And Sylvia and I both gain ten temporary hit points and can make a saving throw okay. if necessary, which is necessary for me because I don't want to take more ongoing damage. Sure. God fucking damn it! All right, but hey, I get to make another save and throw because it's the end of my turn now. Oh, damn it! There we go. Okay. Yeah. No the real end of your turn. There you go. Yeah, all right. No more okay. going. Excellent. Sisha, your go. 
Oh god, they're back. They are. <gasps> but they're together. <laughs> yeah, in slow at turns. They're the bulk. They've got power. You are Makoto. You are a refrigerator <laughs> or like a rocket refrigerator on treacle wheels. No. No. Fuck it, I'm re-rolling it. <laughs> You're re-rolling for a minion? I'm yeah, re-rolling for a minion. Okay. okay. What kind of re-roll? Chaos re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky yeah. bitch. Alright. You hit it, you drop it, which for you means you've dropped the thing to zero and you can shuffle around. God, it feels so bad seeing you crit on a minion. Oh, roll 20 is chugging. It is. 34 is a hit. Hit. Drop it to zero, and you can shift one again. 20. Eight, well, 30 to hit because it's oh, yeah. prone. That Still is prone. a hit. Nice. Oh, Got yeah, me. right. That first one was prone. I take it back. You didn't have to spend the AP. You hit it. Oh. Good. You can have your own we, back. We need you with that shovel up here. <laughs> Bong! Yeah. yeah, you guys. It makes, it makes the noise, like the comedy Bong. noise, because it's a like shovel Bong. slamming into a golem made of bronze. You get that, like, fucking uh, frying pan in an 80s TV show clunk. Bing, bing, bong. And I had to use my move to move into optimal placement. Oh, but I will. Uh, Where did you get to make that attack, Scout? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I haven't been yeah. able to do it yet. You might as well. Boop, 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 boop. Shift up twice your speed. Join shift climb jump. Three, All right, cool. Four, yeah, go ahead and do that. Five, and yeah, six, you hit and drop it seven, so it does not eight. get too stabby. You take 14 this time. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> Nine, 10, 11, 12. Wait a second. Mm? Let me look at. I can't. I need to immediately chain those, right? Like I can't activate yeah, this you can't free activate action it after, into no, yeah, you like as. That I... <laughs> no, no, that'd be that'd be too <laughs> much. Okay, that would be hilarious, but no. The action is you may make another yep. attack. Yeah, it doesn't say you may perform another action and then blah blah blah. blah, blah. Uh, Rana, your guy. Ah. Hmm. Kind that would be an amazing combo to just like zip <laughs> over and keep on swinging, yeah, no, keep that'd, on wanging. That'd be nuts, though. Uh, I'm really uh, sorry, that God, but I was planning on moving that 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 friendo, but alas, okay. So with Taste's action, I am going to charm the defender. Let me get the thing. This. Sure. Dickhead. Um. So, bloop. That is a hit. Okay, I'm going to be moving him to there. Thank you very much. Uh, however, that does appear to be a charm power. It does not work. Takes the damage though. Ah. Mm. Okay. Um. And then with Stress's action, she's gonna zap him. Okay, you can still do the damage. But I can still do the damage. It's not going to oh, dominate. <laughs> I'm aware. Just. Yeah. Bloop. Never mind. No. And that, have you got the fixed pluses yeah, in there? No, it still, still says plus 12. Plus 12. Uh, it, I, so I adding A onto that, 30 it. versus Will. 30 is a hit. <laughs> you take 60. Yeah, on my thing, it's changed, though. Mm. 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 Big struggle. Mm. Let me, Are you let me... sure you put the plus in the attack section? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, range to your power. Damn it. No, uh, in the power macro. Remember, it doesn't oh, use actual... that attack bonus stuff. It power macro went to uh... at power to death. Three, 10 plus 8. 10 plus 18. Plus. 
Oh yeah, what, also, let's put your actual crit numbers in. What was your staff crit? Uh, 3d6. 3d6. Alright, there you go. Now also your crit is correct. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Okay. Still, so, yeah, hit it. It takes the damage. This bronzy, it gets to have a turn. It crawls at you menacingly because, frankly, it doesn't matter if it stands up or not. <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Uh... Fucking 31 versus your AC. Uh, does their does their attack have any like elemental keywords? No. Then that will hit. Holy shit! Fourteen damage from the ground. Take that. I mean, I don't know what you. Them, I don't know what you expect. But... I mean, yeah, no, I rolled really good. Yeah, like I only have thirty AC. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just roll fourteen. Uh, all right, Tari. These two hit me, and I just took the, and I took like twenty eight. Was it? So I don't. I didn't actually mark anything down. Okay. So thank. There you go. Now I'm correct. Okay. Uh. I guess I. I guess I second. Okay. Oh, so you're definitely cutting off a lot. Is it just internet on your side, or you it might be internet? Mic... Yeah, it's that you're like letting over mute, or you've got a um, noise gate issue. Uh, if we've Possibly played, both. I've been having like moments where everybody's cutting out recently. I haven't had moments. Uh, I'm also not surprised, Gotti, because your internet is the worst. Yeah, out of all of will has like, been the most for a while. I guess. I'm just never surprised when it's you who disconnects. <laughs> well, that's I've had Discord crash twice tonight. Yeah. That's not the... Alright, so you second wind. What else are you doing? Yep, I'm gonna move up, I guess. Okie pokey. Alright. As far as I can, anyway. Crit. 14 more damage for Thyran. Start there for Sylvie. God, why are, you, why are you so good at critting with these okay. minions? You've crit me know. three times with them. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like sheer volume of attack, I guess. It is. It really is. Sophie. Oh, God. Okay. As I say, yeah, to be fair, I've crit failed as many times as I've crit hit. It just doesn't, you can't tell because they, these dominant, powerful lads just don't know when to quit. Yeah, yeah. They're so uh, glorious. God, what do I do here? Do I want to try and get rid of the. This guy? No, my combat advantage is on her. I should just continue trying to take down Dreamy. So I guess uh, we continue repose striking. Alrighty. Uh, 31 versus her AC. That is a hit. Okay. Six, 31. Uh, 36. 36 even. Ooh, almost bloodied. But... No, that's about as perfect as I can get her. Alright, the minor. If you used her encounter, which is a shame, because now you have even more targets to hit. That would have been wonderful. Alas. Alas. Just does a stab. Uh... Oh, wait. Hey, you are marked, weren't you? Because he stabbed you before. Um... Uh, I think I'm not, I'm not marked by him, am I? Oh, right, it's still the end of his next turn, and the most recent person he hit was Thyran. Never mind. Thyrin yeah. is marked, but she yeah, didn't Thyrin do an attack marked. that didn't include him, so... Yeah, I bonked this lady. Listen. I mean... Oh yeah, you did a normal bonk, alright. I forgot uh, I was so marked. It's blasphemous I might. should have just smacked him. Yeah. Oh well. It's fine, his uh, blasphemous mark is, until the end of their next turn, they deal an extra 2d10 oh, yeah, necrotic when fine. they hit the marked creature. That's uh, so I guess I'm okay. gonna target That's probably for the best Byron honestly. instead of Sylvie. Well, that... Well, I mean, it's it's, at least it's not a crit. <laughs> 3d10. What kind of damage is it? 26. Uh, mostly normal, uh... 
fucking, I guess I should. Uh, oh. Looks like nine necrotic. Well, oh, ouchies. The rest is normal. Okay, and Dreamy. No, do not lose steam now. You're doing so well. Uh, that's sure it. I'm not sure I'd quantify uh, this as doing well. Ah. You're still alive. Okay. That's wonderful. We are doing okay so far. All right. I hit Thyran and I miss... Okay. Oh, sorry. I hit Sylvie and I miss Thyran. Is this the thing that she's trying to, like, daze me again with? Uh, no, it's just me attacking with the Nightmare Time. I probably should have done the Daze ability first, but I wasn't thinking. So uh, this is just the plus 17 versus Reflex. Wait, a uh, 25 versus Reflex? Yeah, 32 will hit my Reflex. Oh, that hits me. <laughs> yeah. All right, you both Ow. take 17 damage. Okay. Oh, no, Ow. these are separate attacks. That's nice. 17 for Sylvie. Ow. 13 for Fire Ant. And you both have ongoing 10 Psychic. Oh, good. I think you'll have to see it. Uh, and then I will try and daze Taru so that she can't get in the fight properly. Uh, 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 uh. 35 versus Taru's will. The target is dazed. Yeah. Okay. And that's her go. Uh, more dead bronze. Another dead bronze. Okay. Siren. Well, this is going pretty badly, honestly. And Tar, if we die here, I'm going to haunt you. Uh, but in the meantime, come here and save me. I'm going to cast Hallowed Advance okay. on Taru and Drew. Right. So, I'm not marked still, am I? Yeah, I just got uh, hit. Okay. Didn't you just get hit? Cool. I'm going to attack the Miner yeah, this time so I don't get his fucking rage activated. Okay. So he gets slapped. I probably miss anyway. Uh, that's take seven damage, but more mm -hmm. importantly, so one ally seven. Uh, within five squares, which is going to be Taru, uh, actually. He's going to teleport into this square. Or, mm, yeah, no, fuck it, we flank. Actually, wait, that's not flanking, because I'm technically in this square. No, you, you come here, Taru. You're, you're yeah, yeah, here. yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that way both of the scary people are in her oh, defender oh, yeah, aura. Okay, so as a free action, not a reaction or anything, you can attack yeah, 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 whoever good. the fuck you want, and you can spend a healing surge plus three. Okay, you're right, sorry. So it, the target the has to be the okay. that guy this turn. Oh, you, oh, yeah, 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 no, you have to that's make it fine. against this guy. So you can do that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, just a melee basic. Uh, melee basic? Yep. Melee basic. 41. Yeah, you strike him hard like a basic bitch. Yep, healing surge plus three. And a healing surge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, Good. don't Check don't you worry about it. Minor actions. Yeah, I suspect yeah, it's about to be much. two minor actions. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I'm going to healing we'll word myself lunch. this time. Oh, that's a that's a chunky one. Yeah. Good. Good. I saw. I did. That is a big one. You damage needed I need it. To actually, take. Nope. All right. Yeah, I was down to uh, fourteen damage, and nope. now I'm going to be uh, yeah. much better than that. Then I'm going to cast Shield of Faith because Jesus Christ. Actually, wait a second. Hold on. This could be hilariously better. Okay. Yes, I'm going to cast Light of Revelation. Actually. Uh, boop. So this is going to create a uh, aura. Uh, close burst one, so that's gonna. So I'm in Sylvie Square. It's gonna affect b fucking everybody here in the pain train. So, of course. Uh, whenever they attack, they take five radiant damage. So, fuck you, minions. You die no matter what you do. Ah, oh, shit. You've cocked him. Uh, yep. So they, they can't do anything. Uh, I can't. I don't think I can hit you with them. Yeah, they can't yep. do anything. They'll and die then, when they get up yeah, and that's, die that's and they me get done. Up. <sighs> okay. Uh, they when they attack, they the attack so they as, the attack, as soon as they though. start. Yeah. 
Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's before they get to the land. It's apparently. very important, like, this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not re- not in response to it. It's oh. not Went from uh, effectively 14 uh, okay. health to uh, almost 60. Yeah. Oh, Sisha. and I need to make a save, yeah. And since Don't this is psychic save. damage, I got a plus two. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Let's... Now, Sersha, you can go. Sorry. Here and bonk the miner. Why would you shift there when you want to be in combat? I guess? So I can shift back. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, and you knock it, Brian. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Any... She's on top of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could move into this space. To yeah, you could move yeah. there if you wanted to. I would shift into that space. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Rena. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to psychically zap uh, Dreamy. Okay, work. No. Okay. They're having a hard um, time with brains. Yeah, brain, brain, brain up his move tonight. Uh, and then Stressor is. Good luck, these wrinkles are fortified. One second. Uh, let's try it. Let's break out the whip. Gonna move to here. Yes, perfect. And now also choke me a little. A nice try, but you've got very weak fingers. And the attack uh, on that why is it also... not doing it? I fucking oh, that's because the corrupting touch is actually Satrassa's attack, not yours. Uh, Plus 14 is her, her uh, thing for it. So that's it's fine. technically harder to hit with it now that you are a much more powerful caster. <laughs> definitely. Definitely peg. <laughs> Uh, alrighty. Uh, this golem with its move action stands up and it's going to turn the standard action into a move action to shift one away from you. <laughs> That's real mean, that thing you've got going on there. Okay. Uh, Some weird amount of survival instincts. Yep. Still... I know, right? It's less <laughs> survival, it's more like efficiency instincts. Uh, let's see, do I take out yeah, I target dreamy. dreamy. Fuck do I mind. target dreamy or do I take try the target dreamy? Target dreamy. Okay. I got the miner. Let's see. Do you... Where'd it go? Okay, here. Well, that is certainly a hit. All right, 28 damage. Uh, Anyone have preference to where I move her to? Back into her space where she is. Okay. <laughs> and hang on. Oh, yeah. And also call me dirty you're while you're dirty right. fucking <laughs> undead. <laughs> Let's see. I have how many people in first five? Let's see here. Everyone, yeah, no one's unconscious, but they're, oh, we're all right. very hurt over here. It's one, two. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just talking about the enemies here. One, two, three. Uh, there's like four. Just one, four. Okay. two, yeah. I count four. four. Okay. Uh... Top to bottom. Let's see. Left to right, top to bottom. Oh, I mean, the only bottom here is Dreamy. Oh yeah, she's on the very bottom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I hurt that hurt. How do we feel about. How do I feel about fear. Uh, they're only immune to fucking charm by the look of it. All right. Uh, miss hit. Miss hit. Okay, they have their minus twos. Uh, uh, uh. No. Uh, uh, uh. All right, yeah, this one is going to. Wait, I can do that. I was stunned. Hang on. 
Oh yeah, no, you were. Yeah, dazed. you're dazed. You're only, you, only, you, only, you only had the one action. All right, they are not it, spooked. You hit I them am sorry about. That. At least I realized that before my turn passed. Yeah, I appreciate. Okay. Yeah. This one. Anyway, speak. Womp. I'm still, I'm still dazed. Yep. Sylvie. Okay. Uh, ten damage. Yep, yep, ten damage. Let me take that. It is. I think means my defender aura is not currently live. It is. Is it? Okay. Stopping you it. just can't do anything oh, okay. with it. Yeah, you can't. You can't actually reaction yeah, them, still... but you don't like lose the ability to be. That's a what I meant. Yeah, That's yeah, what I mean. You can't, like, you can't like, really bonk them. It still provides like that minus two or whatever. Minus one. Minus one or whatever. Minus two. Oh, it is a minus two. Dark. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use daily here on Dreamy. Fair. Thirty-seven versus her fortitude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ongoing twenty-four. Uh huh. So... As well as taking. Uh, let's see here. That's thirty-four. Forty-eight damage. Forty-three. Four. Yeah. Forty-eight damage. Forty-eight, and then ongoing twenty-four. Fuck. Yep. And then I will make my save. You'll attempt your save. I will just attempt my save. Uh, I feel like I've got to. I've got to go with the nuclear option. All right, the miner takes a swing at you from yeah. the ground, trying to fail so that it can kill itself. <laughs> it's got to try and fail to <laughs> hit you. In fact, it aims at Tar. Wait, no, Tar is dazed. I guess oh, aims no. at Fire N. She looks like she's got highest AC. Um, Fuck, 34, 34 hits you, yeah, isn't it? that will hit me exactly. Damn it. All right, fine. Damn That's it, an enemy do. hit a player character with high AC. Yeah, is that a, is that a fucking <laughs> weird one? You take 14 damage. I do not get to Ow. kill him to deal 14 damage and wake up a bunch of golems. <laughs> Oh. oh, I love Fori. <laughs> That's a fucked up series of events. <laughs> All right, All right. Dreamy. you're on going 24. Yep. All right. Ouch. You know what? I guess it will, now that it's already failed, it will use its move action to stand up. <laughs> Might as well. It just shrugs and stands up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Dreamy takes a bunch of fucking damage and she will stand up. I think I you like almost that. got to me. Uh, I'd like to see here. Unfortunately, I've got to try my best to survive and kill you. Uh, psychic escape, close burst one, 17 versus will. Uh, uh, Sylvie, Farron, Sasha, Taro, Satressa. Okay, which one is the first one? Wow, I didn't get hit by a will attack. Uh, oh, that hits exactly, except I had a plus two to all of my defenses. Uh, Damn. Oh. Yep. 34 hits my will. We yep. haven't gotten any bonus defenses, have we? No. No. Alright, that hits. Okay. Everyone who is hit. Okay. 3d8 plus 5 psychic. 18. Oh, I'm still up. She teleports 10 squares, so I'm going to go. Oh, it's not up to you. I literally have to go for 10 squares. All right, so she doesn't actually have a good view on you guys. I'm going to drop her on the far edge of that cliff up there. Oh, God, fuck you. <laughs> and then does it recharge? No, no, it does not. All right, uh, more dead bronze golems, <sighs> and then it's Thyran time. All right, um, she's really hurt, but I don't think just dropping a flame strike on her head will actually dispatch her. <laughs> oh wait, she needs to make a say. Does she oh yeah, make... you're right. Yeah, one d twenty. All right, uh, God damn it. <laughs> yep. Well, at least it did 24. You dealt fucking 24 more damage to her yeah, as well. Let me see. Yeah. Drops it really low. 
Oh, is that that or Hellfire after the twenty four? That is her Hellfire already. That is her save because she took the damage at the start of her turn. Is that up or down a cliff? Up a cliff. Up, she's up a cliff. She's now looking down on okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Are, That's what like, I thought, but I had to double check because. Yeah, okay. and I, it's not Wait, the, the super optical illusion on this map. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for broke, I think, and try and drop a flame strike on her, because <laughs> that's infinitely amusing. And I also really don't sure. have anything in the way of healing powers left anyway. Uh, what? Please tell me it's all yours is a sustain. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell me this aura of yours here is I'm going to sustain Zero. Yeah, it's a minus sustain. Okay, but good. Yeah. Uh, standard action, flame strike. Otherwise, on I will die. Dreamy. I'm sorry, but you really deserve this. You're a bad girl. Flop. Okay. <laughs> All right. God, I look uh, need the fucking yeah. dirt after this. Bonk. Ah, oh, the damage. Uh, yeah, it's a That's hit, but that was fine. Oh, really fucking oh, double ones. Oh, come on! Oh, okay, no. So... <laughs> Terrible. That's so okay, yeah, 19 you know total damage. She gets pushed wisdom. three, and then she's going to be taking... Uh, let's see. Five plus wisdom is 11 ongoing fire. Uh, it's a push. It's straight back. It's not a slide. Push. So it's just a just a way. Oh, it's straight back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, minor right, action right. to sus. Hold on. Well, then yeah, the Theron turn. Uh, minor action to sustain, yeah, yeah, and then sustain. I That's got. Uh... Honestly, I don't think I have anything left actually to do. Yeah, you have. You I think have I might fine, have no, the tank's fine. You've taken the juice out of the healer. <laughs> Gonna use a move action to just dismount Sylvie and just uh, plop. Just the tank plop. can heal too, but I gotta be undazed first. Can All I right. get up? Seriously. It's gonna have to be serious as shooting this bitch. Yeah. Actually, I should drop here. Whip or here. Run at the lightning. I will. That way, Saoirse can go here and then shoot the bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah everyone, dead, right? everyone here is dead. Uh, yeah, shift over. Just so you're aware, though, there was a creature right here. I don't think you can just... Well, fine, I'll just stay on. ...get off of Sylvie without being attacked. Not into yeah, a space fine. that isn't... Well, actually, I could just drop here. Yeah, yeah, that, that also works. Let me uh, move this. And I can shift over here and line one up. And. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -da -la -da -ba. Blink. That is a good plank. And dreamy. Does that All trigger right. a death blow? Thanks. 33. It gets a below 20. Oh. It drops her. Huzzah. Actually, right. it just seems it was Saoirse who made her eat dirt. Good thumb. To be fair, got, uh... I put in a lot more than that. We'll call it a team effort. And uh, it's a communal effort. It's a One, communal effort. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, Cody, roll me one d nine. That's also not the dirt I was talking what about. Make it. What were you talking about? I mean, well, I mean, less so, like actually inevitable. just knocking her out. True. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Ooh, I know which four. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh boy! Is the wizard backline about to get blocked? Oh no! 
The wizard's gonna get him fucked here. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Wait, no, no, the wizard's not gonna get fucked because she has like fire shroud and can like do that on all of them. All right, bronze golem. There are more in the fray. Rena, you have a new friend, and three more of them appear to Damn. be jerking themselves back to wakefulness around you. Okay, um. Uh. Initiating um, emergency. Get the heck out of here. Shift fire um, so I'm going to. Uh, I do, but that's that's if it's ever going to hit, which we know it's not going to. Um, I, I think that's a much that's better option. I mean, I can give it a go. Um, yeah, shift I'm one and then gonna. Get all well, of actually, no. Just. That's I don't cool. need to shift. I can just do the thing where it does less damage, which is not important. As yeah, it's not important. You just need to do one damage overall. Yeah, so four attacks. Those are pretty good attacks. Uh, let's see here. They're also all lying down, so it's 29. All right, so 27 hit them, because if so, then they've all been hit. 27 hits good them, job. they all die again. Ah. Oh. My boys. Nice. Good. My boys. Good, good. I've never hit seen you hit everyone with a fire shard before. You just gotta you know, believe in the heart. Never ever cards. happened before. The power cards. Alright. And you're moving your miner. I assume you're gonna use a move action to keep suppressor going? Uh I'm gonna keep move action stress going because uh yeah, I don't actually want to hitting the shit out of people. Um and I'm going to just psychically zap with her the, um, the, yeah, I'm going to psychically zap just one of the minion boys. Sure. Nope. Um, yes. That one time you just rolled a two. <laughs> that was weird. You've rolled two 22s before, but the numbers were under. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. This bronze golem is going to try and uh, yeah, shift in and whack Sasha. Thirty-two versus your AC. Uh, AC no. Okay. Uh, by which you mean AC? Yes. Wait, never mind, that does it. Yeah, we don't have any bonuses. Oh, okay. It gets to live. He oh. remains upright. Dab. Sorry. Ow. There's okay. one big rungus and two robots left. Yeah. I'm still dazed, so if I'm gonna hit, I'm only hitting the grungus. Yeah. Let's do it. Team. Uh, yeah, that is a good hit. 18, and he's immobilized. And he's really hoping he misses his next attack. <laughs> Alright. Uh, speaking of attacks, fire in! 35 versus your AC, 14 damage. Uh, remember, she's in my square, so that yeah. thing would have to oh, move in. Yeah. No, no, she dropped To down. prevent you from getting smacked, smacked by this guy, oh, did hopefully. She? Yeah. Oh, okay, right, right. Then so, we should take uh, away. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, basically did stop. Yeah, yeah, I understand. All right, that's 14 fine. damage Jeez. to you, Thyran. And Sylvie. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna try and repose strike uh, this guy here. Uh, I'm gonna use my stone reroll for this. Sure. How's like a 34? Because we get like a big plus from it. 34 to hit uh, Black Cloak Boy as a hit. Yeah. All right. So now he has five, uh, Cold Bone ability 5. And if my allies get targeted around me, so any of them, mm -hmm. and I can actually attack something, I can. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make sure this guy doesn't get to do his death blow stuff. Makes hopefully. And that that that's it for me. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. I'm I'm living in the safety box here with my 5 HP. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, make a saving throw against your ongoing no, damage. Nothing. This minor. I mean. Oh, oh actually, no. Actually, wait, I couldn't have done oh, that. Oh, you were knocked unconscious by your ongoing damage. Yep. Yeah. Fair. Well, you just watch, she just watches Sylvie gets ready to act. Well, and goes uh, the good news left. is, since that's at the start of your yeah. turn, uh, you get a plus seven to your death save bonus from Thyren being there. Smiley face. Yeah. Um, I, I did make, did I yeah, make you make a death save at the uh, end of your turn. You take the okay. damage that drops you at the, yep, at the start seven. and take a death save at the end. All right, he says plus seven. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. not a nat 20. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. Oh. And then it looks looks down at your papa. Oh, wait, do I still up. have to take... The, do I still have to make a save against, like, the ongoing 10 as well? Mm -hmm. Or is that... Oh, fuck me. All right. Uh, let me make that real quick. That's what plus two... Oh, okay. that passes. Nice. That's good. Yep, it seems. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but the miner looks like it's going to whack you, and it looks like Taru is still dazed, so... Uh... Wait, is Taru I'm not dazed. I saved out of it. The... Oh, yeah. yeah, can't you? Uh, then, you know, take a good swing at it. Okay. I will also take... I see the trap here, but I get... ...doing so. What do you mean you see the trap here? It's going to yeah, try and kill me otherwise. There's no friends. trap. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, you hit it and drop it. Yeah. And now minions revive, which was the... And guess yeah. why you drop it? It's because that was Marshall Cold, and it had Cold Realm. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been quite enough. All right. Uh, no, I don't know. it doesn't have fun. Cold Realm because I didn't get to hit it. Oh, you're right. Then it's still up two hit points. Can Damn. anyone take two but, health for this thing? But it will take five when it tries to attack because it's in the zone. I already oh, took yeah. that off. Oh, you oh. did? Uh, yeah. I still wish I had the orc uh, power there. But that's what All right. not if no one can do two damage to it. Who's it swinging at? All right, so that's a death save. Uh, I don't think that's think quite how that works. Yeah, death save for you. In Bori. Because uh, we need to track how far into the negatives you are, because if you uh, reach your remember. total bloodied value, you die. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, uh, 1d10. Okay. Ow. That's, that's not ideal. 18. Max to damage. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Fire ants. Second. He's not dead. Did some minions get back up? Or wait, no, it's not, not dead. No, it's still not up. dead. At the end of your yeah. turn. Yeah. Thank goodness, honestly. Yeah. Wait a second. Mm. Hold on here. It's not a nat twenty. In four e, you just need a twenty or wait, higher. It specifies. Spend a healing surge from zero. Oh my uh, God. Holy I shit, Thyren's ability oh, is yeah, actually based as hell. Uh, I didn't realize that until just now. Holy okay, mother so, All right, let me all right, let me go to zero yep. first and then add on a healing surge, and then we'll see where I'm at. Yep, so you're two. So 20, and then I take 18. Okay, well I'm that changes two. things. Yeah, and the attack still doesn't get to happen because okay. the save is at the end of the turn. Yeah. This God. entirely, what I thought was a completely <laughs> superfluous ability Thyrend had actually is incredible. Yeah, yeah, it turned out really good for fuck. Like, the striker yeah. that gets the automatic okay. damage from uh, the Oh, well. <laughs> I should have brought the tank up here with me. Jesus fucking All Christ. Right. Let's, uh... <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, you're up, and that also means. Oh no, it, it tried to swing at you. Uh, you can repost it. No, I can't because I, yeah, the ability didn't go off, Scal. Oh, right. Uh, right. do you have any effects on I, you still? I, I that saving save. Pro, Sylvie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you saved out of everything. Good. No, good. No, good, good, good. On the ground. Saved out of then. it. Uh, that does mean then that the 18 damage just now dropped you unconscious again. No, it does not because I got to healing. So okay. I had 20 health from that. Yep. Sick. So I have two dab, health. Dab forever. Dab, dab, dab. Good. I'm coming because, in with a big uh, fat heal. Uh, fat heal. Anyway, so now on to my turn. actual turn. All right. All right. Uh, this is going to be a real, real impactful yeah. one here, let me tell you. 
Uh, I'm going to smack this guy next to me. Bonk. Uh, I, this bang, bang. fucking... Sorry, next to or below? Okay, cool. All right, you bonk him, he goes down, and uh, why don't you roll me that dice? Uh, let's see how many we've got to, got to do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. You get two back. Nine of them. Nice. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and I, to I mean, it's definitely worth it here. for me to try and... Take resources! Take resources. We're taking a long fucking rest after this. Yeah, wanted... Motherfuck. Holy shit. I have... I have <laughs> dumped everything. Oh, you know, yeah, I was about to five foot step, step there for step. the heal. Here. Or actually... Yeah. Here. Okay. Okay. And then I gain resist five to all damage. Oh yeah, I'm not... Which is nice. I would normally give it to Sylvie, but it won't help. Off the list. Okay. Right, the guy's down there. It won't help. No. Plus, right. I'm not. Oh, I'm sure. not moving out of the middle of the safety box. <laughs> the box of safety. Miss. <laughs> All right, twenty-five to hit Farron, which nine. isn't going to do it. It tips over and <laughs> you take fourteen. I knew this was coming. Mm. Yep. Uh... And then it is off the board completely. Sirsha, your guy. All right, Sirsha, if you can like shift in, whack, whack, whack. Mm, as long as I hit this one. Shovel. Madness reroll because I didn't have to use it last time. No, that's true. You did not in the end. Aha. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Never punished. Never punished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do, 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 do. Uh, hit. Another one dispatched. Bonk. And hit. Shovel. That's all of them. Bonk, tank, bonk. <laughs> Comedy noises for all to enjoy. Yeah. Whew. You two I haven't okay? had to work that hard in a long time. I've been better. You, you look hey, like hey, you've been better. Huh. Huh? Tari didn't do anything. That's that's All the right. problem. Oh, was it Sirsha? Oh, Sirsha, you mean, is the one who triggered it by throwing oh, yes, sorry. outside. Hey, Sirsha, come here. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Sirsha did throw it outside. Bonk. <laughs> Reach weapon, bitch. <laughs> she tried to run. <laughs> Just one good gonk on the head. Uh, gonk. Uh, oh, goodness. Well, now we can, hey, hey, now I, I don't actually need to do what she heels. said. No, I didn't try to think, leave please. With a diamond. You almost got poor Sylvie killed. <sighs> Fun thing I was gonna do. These, the this is a standard and a minor. Uh -huh. well, I almost got poor Sylvie killed. I didn't run. Like I mean, that might not be a bad idea anyway. The... I, I would appreciate it. And I'd spend all my healing surges otherwise. Well, uh, oh, so the gift see, I can do the, I can do the alliance band on you. Yeah, the alliance the band. Alliance band I can give to you. Great. That's the healing surge for me for you to spend. Yeah. yeah. But what's, all right, let's. What, what's your surge at the moment? What's your surge? Okay, Jeez. minus the temporary eight is thirty-three. So thirty-three, 33 plus yeah. our level of fourteen. Yeah. Uh okay if we yeah if we've uh, reached one milestone today yeah sure oh right we don't get the milestone thing right no no so you've only got one encounter so right right so just, just 33. that's what I thought that's yeah, what I okay. thought yeah. that's not, just that's it is better. so big yeah uh if you want if we're allowed to include the temp HP then it's another seven nah, there you go nah, I didn't think so I didn't okay. think so but I had to specify yeah, it's it, it says very specifically the healing surge value let's let's take a minute before going up that cliff to dream you there. 
Uh, no, breath. I need to make sure she's not dying. Uh, hep, hep. I'll I'll be fine. Oh, that's true. Let's, let's it, do that. Although she oh. said she said she get right back up. Yeah, as you approach her dreamy, uh, you can see that there is a diamond bracelet on her hand, uh, and it is cracking and splintering even as you look at it. As the bracelet cracks completely and breaks off of her wrist, you guys hear a terrifying roar. It sounds like a lot of roaring, actually. A lot of things roaring all the fuck at once. I'm it's coming from that dark throw Dreamy over my shoulder and Gosh. fucking make book it to the door that we came in through. Whoop, 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 whoop. Run away. Uh, sure. No. Uh, just to check, none of you are carrying diamonds on your person. I'm going to really. take the diamond out of my bag and throw it away. <laughs> Alrighty. Because <laughs> it sure would be hilarious if you were quonk and then the room lights up and things start standing again. Yeah, I'm very specifically <laughs> taking any diamond I had and throwing it away. <laughs> Satress is following. Taru will actually take the diamond out of her pot. Yeah. Take a we'll diamond cover... she already had out of her pocket and toss it too, just in case. And we'll check just over... a diamond make... you make... own. And we'll check over Dreamy's sure, pocket. Make sure Dreamy sure didn't have any extra, extra yep, diamonds. Yep, I'm, I'm doing that right yeah. now. Give me a thievery test. Okay. Assist. Okay, here we go. Thievery. One thirty. Right, you can find that she has a whole bunch of diamond jewelry. Um, luckily, with a thievery test of 30, you are successfully able to dismantle the many diamond piercings that she has in. And I say diamond piercings made of solid fucking diamond. Like, Ooh. through nipples and hood and cool. all sorts. It, they look awesome. It looks fantastic, and they are all over. And well, oh, I have to come really back for belly these. button one, and you just like, plink, 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 plink. Yep, sorry, Dreamy, I'll get you replacements leave later. Them in, leave them in a nice pile. I'll get and you replacements later. As you do so, we you can, can see the source of them. the roaring as you throw her over your shoulder and charge oh, out of the Jesus room. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gods above. A <laughs> man um, hydra I... dripping corrupted residium. Well, oh, no. We'll boop at snoots later. <laughs> we'll have to come back for that, too. Uh, Discretion. Later. See ya. You charge your way out of the room. And yeah, there is definitely this sucking sound, like a <sighs> trying to draw in on all of you as you push through this unforeseen barrier. There is a grunt of pain from Dreamy in your hands, but you manage to pierce this particular veil. You can actually see over your shoulder that these bronze golems start to collapse and cave in on themselves as they do so, and the miners disintegrate. Hmm. Let's lock this door and activate the night. You know, that's a good idea. Residium hydrogen and get out. I mean, can it? Is it stuck with the rest of them? I mean, yeah, it's still safe. Literally no reason not to. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, grab you. Let me take off her. Let's grab Dreamy. Pop her over into the torchlight tile. And yeah, battered, bruising, and gasping for breath. You escape from that hellish place. The ant demons Hi, just bye. Sort of, like give you a wave as you dash by. Hi, bye. Yep, you're able to head up to the next lair where the Cadus Temple is. Take the portal that dumps you out above the graveyard. Ooh. Where you can actually see there are a couple of miners who are just like on break. Uh, wearing, like, the Quicksilver penetrating gear. One of them, like, up nods you. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I really thought I was going to die in there. Your latest venture into the mine not go so well, my lords. It could have been better. Eh, so-so. Well, I... we're not okay, we made okay it. for most of them, and then me and her there, we took a shit-kicking. And I see you've collected what? another one of your strange wives. That I have. That we have. Yeah. I should be unsurprised by this point. It feels like every time you go down into the mines, you come back with some other unearthly beauty of impossible proportions. Eh, yeah, tends to be. They they keep needing to be rescued. 
Well, you know they say a beautiful lady is like a gem. Is that so? <laughs> I wouldn't know, and I've been digging up plenty of gems. And taps his pipe and then heads down into the fucking portal again. Have a nice day, ya lords. You as Good well. Luck. <laughs> Pulls his quick silver hood on and steps through. This guy just like fucking rolling in pussy. He's like, oh yes, like precious gems. He's like digging up fucking gems by the fistful. He's like, that would be nice. That would be nice. When does Bob the Miner get laid, huh? When does he get poor and tang? Well, Bob the Miner just needs to take some of those gems and go sell them and go to the whorehouse then. <laughs> Game some poon tang. That's true. He could be. Yeah. At some point, uh, Dreamy wakes up. Oh, good. You're awake. How are you feeling? Ah, oh, my fucking eyes. She would, like, look down at the ground and sort of cup her head with both hands so that she doesn't get, like, light burn from the sides. Yeah, slightly bad news. Had to take out all your piercings. I'll get your replacements later. Oh, well, that's certainly something. Um, where, where is this? Sorry, I'm confused. We are outside the mine. The town oh, right I above see. it. Well, that's certainly interesting. You'll know, though, I don't um, feel so well, good. Don't tell. Like you're about to be sick, or...? I, I mean, disassociation is something away. that can happen after traumatic events. Uh, Theron's going to give her a check over. Of course. Big 42. Yeah, sure. Also, can I find um, out what the fuck she is? Yeah, with... Uh, yeah, with a 42 as you're, like, looking her over, you realize when you start, like, doing things like checking for a heartbeat, you don't find it, and you're like, oh, maybe it's an undead, and you start looking around for more, and you're like, I don't see organs at all? That's strange. And she Gold? seems to be solid all the way through. Um, oh. This lady a goddamn homunculus. Yeah. Oh. A golem. That's pretty interesting. Oh, I'm glad that I'm interesting to you. You always uh, are. She also, as far as a homunculus is concerned, does not look to be doing very well. Uh, you would estimate that it probably takes a lot of magical juice for her to function, and she's now no longer in the strange time bubble in a magical diamond mine. Uh, Wait, you know where else is super time. magical, but also comparatively yeah. quite safe? The forest. Well, what would that be? Mmm. Yeah. Uh, give me a arcana, I guess. I was thinking we just... I, I do have a... Uh... Uh, plenty of residuum at the lab. That that could at least tide me over until I can figure out a more permanent solution. I think we just make her a magical heart. That could work. Well, if you happen to have one to hand, that would probably be very nice. I don't know that I have that much time, though. Uh, uh, fuck, how much residuum? Didn't we, we... I know we, we got, got something... Load. We got a I know we got like, something out of like the oh yeah like, we do have the golem's, golem's heart part. thing before. I don't know if we like just cram that or not, bad though. boy in there. Uh, is it still in your inventory. Wait, wait, this inventory like, is the most we, cursed thing I've ever did had to manage. With it. Yeah, it's fucking full mm. of an entire adventure's worth of shit. Yeah, that's I don't even know if you put it her. put it in here as well. Yeah, this is 85 sessions point. of Monty Hall. I don't goddamn know what's in here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't remember us ever using the goddamn thing though. Oh, God, which I don't remember. Us ever using. <sighs> it was like what, what a was the shadow part? monster, some kind. The one that no, the one that attacked us in the which tavern golem? like 50 the sessions ball? ago. The ball. Yeah, that was the ball. The it, ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it like went back into a ball, and then we didn't really find a thing to fix it. Yeah. It, yeah, like, I guess you don't know how to fix it, but I guess yeah. you could use it for fuel. It unraveled into like a knife monster. 
like sword type dealy. Yeah. 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 It's, it's currently not an orb. You'd have to find a way to collapse it, which is a test. You could pass it before Dreamy uh, becomes Wait. no longer. I thought it collapsed into an orb. It did collapse and then into we... an orb. And it didn't have an. It basically didn't have an AI. Oh right, yes, so you didn't. Couldn't un. Yeah, un we couldn't unorbit. Right? Yeah, yeah. You could, you could, you could stick that thing in her, I suppose. So that's like our gone. Yeah, it sounds like a yeah, I will yeah. assist. Yeah, you got to yeah. crack open a magical homunculus and dump would, a machine in her. I will also mm -hmm. assist. Uh. I I do have an AP. I will be re rolling any shitty roll. Just, yeah, well, I mean, might not need to. That is a 39. 39. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, you manage to essentially pop her open and install this thing. Dreamy just doesn't look like she's doing especially well, um, but doesn't appear to be, like, discorporating in front of you. I do not feel particularly strong, but I do feel present. Well, that's mm. better. We can figure out a more yeah long term we can solution. Get you in the somewhere future. that has ambient magic again. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. We've got a habit of made a habit of finding those kinds of places. Okay. Or if in the future we can yes, find a way right so now she doesn't need ambient magic. Comfort and ability to live is yeah, more like important. A... Like, in, yeah, yeah. Comfort and ability to live is more important. And as I say, if you need me to take it to the lab, like, I can start doing some work, like, right this minute. I'm not quite as scuffed up as you guys. I will leave that to your discretion if you think you can help her. I certainly think I can give it a good try. Um, I don't really know if we've got any one, like, we don't really have anyone golem related in town. Like, if it was a alchemical thing, I we could just obviously go to Emily. Emily knows you know, a lot of stuff. She might um, be able to help just on the basis of being a, you know, I, powerful mage. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you guys want to go sure. go there, and I'm going to start getting stuff, stuff set up in the lab. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Dreamy will limply follow you all along. So, which one of you is going to spit in my <laughs> mouth? Open up. Oh, God. <laughs> he does, sir. <laughs> spit in her mouth. Contain nice. the horniness, please. She We're fucking in shivers. Then you can wait a few minutes. It has been so long. When has that stopped anyone before around here? Well, if you insist, I can certainly wait. Yeah, you're damn right, you'll wait. <sighs> and yeah, she will follow you down to the Emily, who looks greatly interested. She does that um, terrifying monster with a new toy kind of expression. Trivia looks concerned. I like your new terrifying friend, but I suspect that our investigations are going to involve some kind of dismemberment. It would. Emily scoffs. Please, I would only dismember you if you squirm. <laughs> Nervous, dreamy noises. Yeah, Emily will look her over for this nerd. Mm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, she's not anything in my wheelhouse. Kind of weird, though. Shouldn't you be taller? At which point, Remy tilts her head to the side. The what do you mean? And blinks and looks to the, the rest of you all. Where'd you find her? Diamond layer. Deep in the uh, mines. Deep below in the mines. Diamond layer. Mm, yes, the diamond layer. Oh, wow, we had a diamond layer. I haven't been down there and I think I ever went down to the diamond layer. Why didn't I go down there? 
Uh, probably there's a residium yeah. hydra down there. It's covered in a time loop. Oh, I mean, if there be... was residium down there, I definitely would have. Are you kidding? Look at me. Yes, but do you want to fight a hydra for it? I, I think the time could have actually been there and just got spat that back out completely un, uh, unaware. Or it might have been it. Or it might not have been it. That doesn't sound like yeah, something I forget. She says, mm. knowing that it is entirely something she could have forgotten. <laughs> oh, well. You'll be able to go down there soon in the future, once we get off the hydra. But I'm sorry, though. What do you mean by should have been taller? Sorry. Also, yes. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Uh... I remember you being taller. He squints slowly. Could you have been down there before the time loop was set up? Shakes her head. No, because I... Oh, of course, right, I was human-shaped back then. Yeah, I ah. guess I was... I was, like, vaguely... She, like, makes a gesture. Yeah. yeah I was about as tall as mom. Anyways... You knew her before, so like you saw her created, or no? But you and know, who I would that have been? Saw her creator at some Better. point. Mm -hmm. The Devon Dark, didn't we? Ah, your mom. Okay. Wait, I forget. Are you are you a daughter or a niece? Well, then if you don't mind me asking, I'm not direct line. No. Mm. She can answer. Gestures at Dreamy. Dreamy shakes her head. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a half from I'm like She's a simulacrum. You know, powerful spellcaster made her. How do you have none of Mum's memories? Dreamy shrugs. Oh. I do not know. Oh, so you're saying Dreamy is well, a copy is of your mother, horny. basically. Mm hmm Oh my god. And incredibly hot. Uh, gross. Yeah. Don't need to know. I'm sure she can... I mean, I exist, so <laughs> I guess she was down to whatever, but, you know, gross. Yeah, Especially I mean, while she's here looking at me. Most of the... It seems like most of the fun darks tend to be incredibly hot. I mean, hey, if you have a lot of magic and power and money, why wouldn't you? Look at me, yeah. I'm glorious. She, she makes a good point. Monster monsterly. Dreamy shrugs. Yeah. I will take your word for it. It you would be weird included. to say you're attracted if it turns out that, you know, I am a copy of your mother. It turns out you clearly are. You look like her. I mean... I think people I could... could look like your mom. Yeah, anything can look like your mom. He says... Uh, <laughs> says uh, I'm going to give you a very like dreamy... In a... No, 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 yeah. Uh, before you pull your little <laughs> shenanigans, Emily will glare at you, Sisha. Don't... <laughs> Let's, let's the hair, the hair the... manages to change color and then she stops. Well, let's get back to the heart of it. Do you know why your mother might have left the simulacrum on the diamond layer of the mine? I mean, she's a fucking no. good, like, guard. I mean, yeah, I mean, you beat her, but, you know, you guys are real strong. You beat me, and I was maybe as strong as her at some point. So, like, you know. If you, or if you were... If you're as strong as she was when she made you, I, can't, I hate to see how much she's improved. Yeah, or stagnated. I definitely lost my touch. Emily tries. Yeah, that's fair. Dreamy sighs and then we'll speak a bunch in deep speech. Taru, you understand the general gist as being like, so are you some kind of incomprehensible darkness? Because I assumed that was where I came from. At which point, Emily will shrug and go, well, what sort of the weird runs in the family? The mercury poisoning didn't help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she goes, yeah. To be fair, though, I've been tremendously poisoned a lot of times. Dreamy frowns. Your mother should have taken much better care of you. Emily huffs. Yeah, she should have. Oh, well. Sucks to suck, I guess. Anyway, I've done all I can. I have no idea. Uh, I am not an enchanter. And I am an alchemist. Well, sorry, I am an enchanter, an alchemist. I am not some kind of, like, vastly powerful summoner or evocationist. Not my thing. Well, thanks for your help. All right. Well, thanks for looking anyway. And this is 
Very interesting information that we've gotten. I guess it would be, wouldn't it? It would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and really just pauses and looks dreamy over some more. So, have fun with my fake mom, I guess. You go do whatever it is. I don't know. I will. Grown ups like to do. I will have fun with her. <laughs> Great. Didn't need that confirmation. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my shop. I, I'm sorry all right. about she them. Points it's, at stats. We're not all like that. Like, right, I walk out have of a shop. good day, Amelie. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You mutter something in deep speech again, Tyrion said. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Am I the only sane person? <laughs> <laughs> says she in fucking adorable. deep speech <laughs> the, the language sane. of outer gods <laughs> yeah the sanest person here you're sure uh huh mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all that mercury it made her smile you know people put tinfoil hats on she wears her tinfoil hats on the inside <laughs> she got the she got the she, she did the like brain scrub with the mercury and we after we took it out now her brain's all clean Yep, <laughs> so clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> ah, wonderful. All right. I believe we should go on to experience, as Dreamy will tiredly follow after you all, and then, yeah, she wants you guys to treat her real rough. Absolutely. Excellent. She's supremely into it. Well. Did you Maybe explore new don't, location? Uh, Maybe don't break her. Though. Yeah, she's a similar girl. Yes, we did explore a new location. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unfortunately, no. Then magic item or treasure hoard? No. Nope. Mm, no. No. No, she doesn't, doesn't qualify as an item. Yeah, similar girl doesn't qualify as an item. Uh, it's the first time you guys have gotten a magic item or treasure hoard in ages. Yeah. Via Solar yeah. Extreme. Yes, it is an extreme yeah. Nice. It sure felt like one. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. glad that that works as well as it did. Those uh, minions were brutal. They were awesome, weren't they? I've yeah. never seen some yeah, yeah, they were. It turns out that as long as they fucking hit, they're <laughs> incredible. At any cost. At yeah. any cost. The fact that they could... Oops, sorry, that's my phone. The fact that they could come back as well. Like, um, yeah. if anything... God, that's that just... was so fucked. Well, no, it's yeah. a... It's that's just a way an encounter could work, you know, when waves of minions join in an extant fight. That's just another way of making them come around. I just thought that was a more interesting way of doing it than rolling for reinforcements to turn up. Yeah, yeah it was. So no, that was perfectly <laughs> within. It's still within fucked, though. It worked out. Yeah, it was. But yeah, it's like when this creature dies, another wave can spawn, and then you roll it. And then instead of that, I was like, when it dies, they get the fuck back up again. It was neat. Yeah, it worked just as well. Yep. Uh, we've got a simulacrum uh, of Amy's expand mom. Expand or improve torchlight. Yeah. I don't know if that improves torchlight in any way at the moment. I mean, have you seen her combat what abilities? She's do? another powerful defender. Yeah, it's stre stress relief at the for moment. us. All right, fine. She's Later, not then. very strong at the moment. All right, fine. Yeah. fine. <laughs> Yeah, later you'll be able to score her in if you can, you know, get her Oof. back to fighting strength, but she's basically a civilian at the moment. A That's really okay. expensive civilian. Well, hey, we did learn something new about the Von Dark family for it. once. Something new and interesting. Yeah, yeah. we did something yeah. about the Von Darks. So that would be for 247. Question mark makes simulacrums. And is a crazy magic assassin. Yeah, Gwen's gonna shit when she sees Dreamy. Uh, fucking sister just <laughs> up and about. Yeah. Alright, well, if you're watching on the stream, YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time for Keen and D, actually, this week again, I believe. So, until then, adios, and do take care.